something like my name. Just let it be just a uh, uh, just let it be a name. Just let it be a name. And why don't I have my name? Why don't I have my name? Is it that easy or not? It's not that easy. It's not that easy. So what happens is that you have to get into the mind of the person who is talking to you. And you will have a great deal of fun. And you will Hello. have a great deal of fun. And you will have a lot of lot of lot of lot of fun. And the ball is here, 18. That's just promising start. In this a much sports are there to remember. This day will rise after in Nepali sports. Our first time in the history of Nepal rugby. the wind Rugby U 18 seconds, and we are live right now. I think uh, it's gonna be a really good game. 
And then let's take Asia Rugby U18 Sevens. It's happening from 10 December to 20, 10 December to 11 December 2022 in the Dusrath Stadium. We're live in broadcast right now. Okay, we have got scrum going on for Malaysia. Player chains, that's the number 16 in for Team Malaysia. And but I've, I've noticed just one thing that down to their team is looking physically tough. They are quick, they are fast, and the team India haven't got that rhythm till now. It's a dominating play from the Malaysian side. Yep, as usual, Malaysian has got a quick pass from the 22 meter backyard. That's what a nice kick from Team Malaysia to the Team India 22. Nice stepping by Team India. Still going on, Team India. With a perfect handoff. Okay, long pass from Team India. Penalty for Team India. I think they will go for the quick tap. Nice tackle from Team Malaysia. Creating chance by Team India here. With the quick pass here. Team India going on to the 22 meter line of Team Malaysia with a great pace and great, great pass. Still going on Team India. The formation here looks quite good for Team India. The defensive line of Team Malaysia is very, very good. We have the steal in the ball with the Team Malaysia going Team India. Team India going for the long distance. Sorry. Team India going for the try. And the try from Team India on the left hand side. It was nothing but a good pace by the flank. And that was really good run. The Malaysia under couldn't hail him before the race to the line. And that's good try. It's a conversion chance from here. India can make a comeback in this match. They have enough insist and that feeling. Always India is a contender. We consider them as a contender uh, each and every sports, not just only in rugby. And the Virat. This day will return in golden letter in Nepali sports history because an international rugby is first time to be held in Nepali sports history and that makes things better and it's good things for betterment of Nepali sports. 
thanks to SUI Rugby, the Believing to Nepal Rugby Association. We have kickoff from Team India here. Malaysia just in number 11 with a great pace here, breaking from inside. Quick rock from Team Malaysia. Okay, here comes the outside pass. Just in number two running from outside. He's going for well. He has got a good pace. He's going straight for the try alone. And that's a wonderful, wonderful try for Team Malaysia. A quick touch from Team Malaysia and they went straight for the try all the way to the center with try by Justin number two Team Malaysia and the whole team Started very, really well and tactically in the flank. They want to be more precisely, they want to be more speed and the quicker because we have seen uh, two moves here one from Malaysia under 18 and the one from India under 18 following that flank run. And the both has a good impact. Both Josie number 10 have good impact on this match without okay yep kick off down by team india <coughs> team malaysia sorry okay okay time's up okay the time has been up okay we have got the score sheet here. Malaysia with the 14 points and India with the 5 points. It was a nice game. Both teams were both competitive. We can see on the ground here. Both teams having the core values of rugby. It's a very good start, promising start by Malaysia under 18. They have just fit in. India under 18 team and they were looking better physically and they just grabbed the point this is important start to the Malaysia under 18 team okay. With side and the next match is between Thailand under 18 boys versus Nepal under 18 boys. Who will match? We can see that as an organizer, Nepal under 18 boys has done well in the training. So does the Thailand under 18 boys. Okay. We have got lineups ready for the Nepal boys. Mahesh Sunar, Chandradev Josh, Mang, Rohan Dangol, Ganesh Baniya, Navin Bahadur Magar, Viras Regmi, Sandeep Kumar Rai, Am Chaudhary, Abirai, Pares Paneru on the team Nepal with physio Lakshman Adhikari, manager Madhu Ale and coach Krishna Chetri.
From the team Thailand, we have got Sikrian Meng Chui, Waris Maichi Mong Ko, Panawat Jirawatanaska Sak, Kematat Somkani, Juti Rat, Arpawai Sin, Tosak Sundare Ketu, Kunrasat Kach, Sakon Pikunyam, Tanabode Sasinama Pop, Diprom Musas, so we're having a good contest here the home side also organizer team nepal will give a challenge against the visitors Thailand under 18 boys Thailand under 18 teams he's progressing in a very good way recently time in recent time and that Nepal under 18 has a good practice session good training they have ability to the fit and they start this tournament in a winning way so the both team are ready to face each other it's nepal under 18 versus thailand under 18 boys the second match of this tournament they have got good really support by the home fans so birat you are very close to this team and you have an understanding this team's weakness and strength as well. So how do you looking forward onto it this match especially to the Nepal under 18 boys? In a way which training they have got the practice. It's really good team now. Yeah. So team Nepal has been conducted by coach and previous national captain Mr. Krishna Thapa Chetri. So let's hope for the best for Team Nepal. They have been in a close camp for more than one month, along with the coach David Holby, and coach. So the kickoff for Team Nepal. Far, that Malaysia under 18 dominated India over India. Now physically, the physicality, they were looking very strong side. And here is the chance for Thailand under 18 to try. It's a good run by the judge number 10. But he couldn't find himself through in a way, in a space. The Nepal defended very well here. Okay, line out. No, sorry. Scrum for Team Thailand. Quick pass by Team Thailand along with good ground coverage on the 22 meter line of Team Nepal. Great pressure from Team Thailand. Thailand with a great pass from the same defense line. And that's the missed pass from Team Thailand. Line out for Team Nepal. The solidity and the organization that we are looking into the back line of the Nepal team will be tested today it's a good catch and the passing to us
Okay, scrum for Team Thailand again. Second scrum of this game. We have got Team Blue jersey for Nepal and yellow and light blue for the Team Thailand. Great pass from Team Thailand. Great stepping. Nice tackle from Team Nepal. Thailand switching passes from one end to another end. Let's hope for the try. Nice stepping by jersey number two. Still going on. And that's a wonderful try from Team Thailand. It was very quick transition. I have seen then that switch from right hand side to left hand side and left to right. They are very quick and sharp as well. And that was a very good try. Now it's a conversion time. Okay, that was a nice pass from one end to end, which created a chance for Team Thailand to make a wonderful try. Nepal needs to come up with a quick strategy to overcome Thailand. Yeah, exactly, Birat. We haven't seen so far Nepal has managed very well concentrate on this game because they have good, good penetration from Thailand under 18 and they are very strong by the physically the physicality we have seen from this young team it's a fantastic another another switch is going to happen in here they are just only totally sitting back that's a penalty for team nepal scrum I think this might be the chance for Team Nepal. Quick scrum from Team Nepal. Quick handling. Stepping by number six, Ganesh Bania. Still going on, Team Nepal on the far left side corner. In the try zone, and that's the line out for Team Thailand. Great pace from Team Nepal. Good sense from Nepal. It's a line out for Team Thailand. For the Thailand, now they have opportunity to escape from here. Okay, we have got a scrum here for Team Nepal on the 22 meter line for Team Thailand. This might be a chance to create a try for Team Nepal. So does a quick defense for Team Thailand to stop the try. Nice defense from Team Thailand. Loose ball from Team Nepal here. Might be a chance for Team Thailand to counter attack. Good pressure from Team Thailand here. Penalty advantage for Thailand. Quick tap and they are going for the another try here. Going straight here. Hammering through the Nepalese defense. 
on the five meter line here, Team Thailand. Penalty for Team Thailand here, and they're doing the quick tap here. And there's, I think there's no more defender there on the. Okay, there's a loose pass here. Knock on. We have scrum for Team Thailand. Okay. Half time has gone. Both team has got done a good job here. And the score sheet has the leading from Team Thailand with the five points. Team Nepal has to come up with a good strategy to win this game. We have seen a composed game from the Team Thailand here with a great attack and great defense. Along with this first half here, our score sheet is Thailand 5, Nepal 0. good with the first half and then both team have made a mistake but at the same time both team couldn't utilize that chance or comparatively the Thailand under 18 boys team looking so soft we have got coach Mr. David Harvey giving instruction to the Nepalese player here to come back for the team Thailand. Hope this goes well for the, all the fans and supporters coming here in this district stadium to support Team Nepal. Really? And they need to be better and looks more aggression in this match because we haven't seen so many chances by the two chances we have seen in the first half by the Nepal side that and they have failed into both chances so they have to be better they have to be more soft and quick and then it strong mentality it's going to kick off into the half Thailand under 18 And it's a resume in the second half. Okay, nice offload pass by Team Nepal here. A loose pass from Team Nepal. Getting pressure for India 22. Penalty for Team Thailand here. Going for the quick tap. Nice defense by Team Nepal here. Again, penalty for Team Nepal. Team, sorry, Team Thailand. No on by Team Thailand here. Scrum for Team Nepal. Very good tackle. He was just afraid to get a try, but Nepal defense really worked very hard at that moment and it's, it's a scrum scrum from team Nepal here now this might be an advantage to stop the try from team Thailand We can see her nice defense by Team Nepal. But the attacking from Team Thailand is good. Good offload there. Now with the long pass, Team Thailand from one end to another end. 
Dusty number two going on for the try here. And that was a wonderful try for Dusty number two from Team Thailand. Again, it was a mistake from Nepal side. They have been very free. Dusty number two. And they got punished. Another wonderful try by Team Thailand here. Conversion for Team Thailand. Oh, that was unsuccessful conversion. With this, still Thailand is in lead with the miss of a conversion also. Defensively, the ball worked very hard, but you have to be focused on attack as well because the Thailand under 18 is leading with the 10 points. The ball still has nil. Yep. Nepal defense still pressing on. They need to come up with a good strategy to push the team. Penalty for Team Thailand. Again going on. Going on. No defense from the... Great pressure from Team Nepal. Thailand again with attacking formation here. Playing with the same thing. Passing from one end to one other end. Creating space here. Nepal here, creating chance here Nepal for Team Nepal and then still going on for Team Nepal here with a wonderful break and going for the try, that's the number seven. A great comeback from Team Nepal. With this, we might see some changes in the scoreboard. Okay, the conversion is successful. With this, we have got point. Thailand, 10 points. Nepal, 7. Kick off by Team Nepal. They came back in the super boy, Team Nepal. And the all credit goes to that flying runner, especially jersey number seven. He has shown a really very good offensive strategy. And line out for Nepal. Yep. We got a try from Navin Bahadur Maga, jersey number seven from Team Nepal here. Full break and going for the try. Knock on by Team Nepal.
scrum for Thailand. Okay, this must be the last chance for Team Nepal to cover up the points. Okay, that was wonderful kick and wonderful try from Team Thailand, creating space and going for the winning try. We have got some issues there in the pitch for Team Thailand. It's better second by Team Nepal. Competitively, second in the second half, they weren't so quick, and defensively, their attributes, their strategy, worked in a really manner. But up and into the attack, you have to that interest from the build-up, build-up, and the flank. Yep, we can see on the ground here the core values of rugby for both the team. Team Nepal after losing with Team Thailand with the score sheet of Team Thailand with the points 15 and Team Nepal with the team point seven. Since we are playing in this tournament in the round robin league, so we still have got a chance for the all the Nepalese fans who are watching in the home stadium and watching live us in the various social media. Now we have got next match coming up between Chinese Taipei versus Bangladesh under 18 boys. Okay, for Bangladesh under 18 boys, we have got playlist. The player names are MD Mustak Tahmid, Tasifin Hoshian, Arfin Islam, MD Sadiq Kuzam Saif, Mahi Ahmad, Farhan Habib, Kabir Hossein Maruf, Nasrul Islam Niloy, Tirtanag, Atik Sardar, MD Sadaman Islam, Karul Hassan, Saeed Ahmed and MD Asik Hossein as a coach and Saeed Ahmed as a manager. For the Chinese Taipei, we have got Chuan Min Lei, Hao Sheng Wu, Hastings Ned Jabi Wang, Chang Ming Yang, Yu Chiao Hong, Shang Ha Fan, Shao Chi Wu, Chen Wei Pan, Yu Ching Li, Nathan Wang. Yuan Sai, Yue Huang Tian. In the manager, we have got Fu Lin Chang. In the coach, San Pan Ko. Assistant coach, we have got Yi Chen Chen and Chin Yi Wu. For the team, Chinese Taipei, along with the physio Yi Chu Chen. Okay, kick off for the team Bangladesh here. With the wonderful weather. Not so cold, not so hot. Okay, there's a breakthrough for China. Team Chinese Taipei. Jersey number three. 
Hassing net by Jab Wang. And wonderful try by Tim Chinese Taipei from the starting of the game. Conversion for Team Thailand. Sorry, Team Chinese Taipei. And the, I think conversion is unsuccessful here. Yep, guys. by them. Good struggle going on there from both the team. Okay, quick out for the team. Chinese Taipei again going for the another try on another end. Still going on and that's a try for another try for Chinese Taipei. It's looking so easy to the Chinese Taipei. So they have more soft pace and they are quick. It's conversion time. First was unsuccessful. And this has to be success in a Chinese Taipei perception. Yep, conversion. Successful. Bangladesh under 18 can't find that rhythm, that strength to stop the both flanks of Chinese Taipei. Yeah, we can see that Bangladesh teams are fighting. They, they must have to come up with a good defensive line. To break through and counter attack. To break the defense of Chinese Taipei team. We have got good playing configuration from Chinese Taipei team here. Scrum for the Chinese Taipei. Free kick for here, Bangladesh. Bangladesh going for a quick tap here. Nice pass by Team Bangladesh here, yeah, going all the way in. And the loose ball for Team Bangladesh. Quick tap by Team Chinese Taipei here. Yeah. Still getting penalty for Chinese Taipei. Medical injury here for Team Bangladesh. Yu Hong. It's really very good in the end run and the, that shape in the halfway line. And he, is, he was trying to escape from the middle of the park. Players to watch in this tournament. Yu Chia Hung. Here we can see here another wonderful try by Chinese Taipei.
going for the conversion here at Chinese Taipei. Jersey number six, Shang Hefan for the conversion. And the conversion is unsuccessful. Chinese a nice catch by Chinese Taipei offering all the first try. That was an easy try for Chinese Taipei. Wonderful kickoff. Wonderful catch. Straight for the try. Try. Jersey number one. Again with the same pattern. Knock on by Chinese Taipei. We can see scrum for Team Bangladesh. Bangladesh needs to be more organizing at his pace. He is again does he number five, Yu Che Hong going for all the way for the try in the middle there. Creating space, giving pass has been a major point for the team. Chinese Taipei. With this, we have come to the first half of this match with a massive lead for the Chinese Taipei to Bangladesh. Sorry, we still have good time for the first half. And the strength, the swing. It's a statement to other team as well, and this to Naimin, because Chinese Taipei under 18 boys, we can consider Tinder. Dominating. Over Bangladesh, Bangladesh couldn't in the way put the line and defensively and back of both hooker. With this first half. We have come up with the score, Chinese Taipei 29, Bangladesh 0. Hope Bangladesh come up with a great strategy to come up and beat up to the Chinese Taipei. We can see a good game, good pace and good coordination from the Chin Chinese Taipei to make the massive difference in the points against Team Bangladesh. Coordination, make impact into the first half. Chinese Taipei, the, from the starting kickoff, they were looking brilliant. They were looking very good. And the call is they have to get through in the line and get a try, get a score. 
the mentality is so different. That's why it's Chinese Taipei. Hadn't got any soap pressure from the Bangladesh under 18. And it's a one sided first half. It's ascended. It is going to start again. Well, interesting to find that how come up and how will come up Bangladesh and will able to manage to stop Chinese Taipei or pit them. Okay, we have got the second half match started. Advantage and we can see her scrum for the team Chinese Taipei with the knock on by Team Bangladesh. And the position they have possessed till now. It is a strong statement to other teams as well, as I said before. And Bangladesh. A bit of slow reactors on this match. One way tracker by Chinese Taipei. They are creating more chances. They are defensively, they hadn't tested till now because Bangladesh couldn't create any chances over Chinese Taipei's defense lines. Um, and it's again it's a good start to the second half by Chinese Taipei it's injury concern here it's a big blow for Bangladesh it's important players getting out by the pitch from the pitch Virat he's so important yeah we can see her exchange in the team for the Bangladesh with injury replacement Bangladesh need come to come up with a good defense, but we can see here another try from Chinese Taipei. Nice try by Chinese Taipei here. With this, we can see here conversion unsuccessful for Chinese. Style. Player exchange going on. Jersey number. Jersey number out. Chinese Taipei here. And going for the try here. Wonderful try by Chinese Taipei. Making the massive point difference against Team Bangladesh. Looks so easy. It was easy then. A conversion. Got very good experience as well.
Yes. So missing again. Again, it's an easy try. It will be. Yeah. Yes, it is. Wonderful try. Just have just one curious. <laughs> I'm curious. What would you suggest? Bangladesh team if you were in that place uh, we can see here that I can see team Bangladesh with the great speed and they must have to hold the to start Chinese style still going on Chinese with a quick pass and long pass they are still going on but another try, we can see here, one more try for Chinese Taipei. We can see the hunger to try. And it's all about presence of mind. And we can see the change in the scoreboard as well. The try, the same side. Bangladesh, they are hoping for end of this match because they are far behind, 53 to nil. It's a really dominating performance from Chinese Taipei. Bangladesh couldn't open the score, couldn't open the count in this tournament. Coming up next, we have got Team UAE boys under 18 versus Team Korea. Going to be game. UAE versus Korea. 
coming up next you can watch live on our social accounts and television as well but this match nothing left so far nothing left much chinese type is just winning the formality is just over 65 nil is the score with this we have come up to the end of the match between chinese taipei and bangladesh with a score difference of 70 nil in the next match here we got korea versus 118 boys the korean team we have got player si hun ming chi kwak Chun Hyuk Choi, Jin Seung Park, Chan Ha Lee, Che Won Kim, Dong Ho Oh, To Hye Kim, Min Hyuk Hong, Che Yong Song, Se Pin Lee, Hyun Jin Kim. And in the team manager for the team Korea, we have got Yu Tak Chan. In coach, we have got Chong Soo Kim. In assistant coach, we have got Won Yong Park. with physio you take chang for the korea under 18 boys team in the upcoming line out for the team players of under 18 boys for the ua team are mudwa mete mere wa luke trier max allen pava charlie polard henry turner tarek nas Max Chelovich, Jack Drew, Henrik Drew places, Max Wilson, Joseph and Javier White. In the manager for Team UAE, we have got Yusuf Sakir. In coach, we have got Andy Jones and Josh Elliott as assistant coach. For the physio for the Team UAE, we have Hawaii. We have got line up here for team Korea and team UAE. we can see here on the ground at the sret stadium the match between uae and korea 
with the referee from India here, main referee Surajit Ghosh. Kick off for Team UAE. We can see her knock on by Team Korea. In the early morning, we have finished three matches with the first match between Malaysia and India with the score difference of Malaysia 14 and India 5 along with the second match between Thailand and Nepal with the loss of Nepal with the 7 points and Thailand with the 15 points and we can see on the ground here chance Nice defense by Korea team. As I was saying, our third match was between Chinese Taipei and Bangladesh with Chinese Taipei with the leading and winning score of 70 against Bangladesh Neil. And now we are having our fourth match at the Swiss Stadium with UAE versus Korea which has just begun now with the Line out for Team Korea. Let's start. We are having here Yiwe versus Korea. This is Yeah, we can see the mistake was in the line out. Quick tap in by Team UA, does it number four? Korea with the quick tap in here. Going for the big hit. Again, not realizing the ball here by Team Korea. Nice stepping by Justin. Straight here for the try. The try by Luke Dreyer from UA with a massive hit and going straight for the try. The try that was the physicality. He have got at that time Luke Trier. Very good try. What a start by the UA. Henry Turner going for the conversion. And we can see the unsuccessful kick by the decision of referee there. See Mr. Prem Koirala from Nepal, who has been doing referee for the various national tournament, which recently held in Nepal on the national game. Kick off by Team UAE. That was a wonderful kick off by Handy Turner. Again, here we can see nice stepping from Korea and the loose ball here by Team Korea. The handling here from Team Korea is a little bit poor. They have created chance for Team UAE. With the same incident happening before. <laughs> Penalty from Team UA again. Quick tap in. Still going on.
Y... South Korea breaking their 22 meter line, going straight for the try here. Jersey number two, Minky Wak. He was taken down. But Jersey number nine, Hendricks replaces. We can see here again, Team Korea to break through, going straight again here inside for the try. Korea with the quick pass again. Now we can see the more ground coverage by Team Korea to make a try. Okay, that was a wonderful tackle from Team UAE. Try saving tackler by Team UAE. Defensive. The Korean player was carrying the ball and tried to toss it down in the try zone, but he couldn't get it. And it's a good defend. It was an exemplary defend by UAE. Going for the line out here, Team UAE. We can see here great pressure from Team UAE. And there's a less number of people for Team Korea here going for the quick support and the penalty for Team Korea here. Okay, line out. <laughs> This might be a chance for Team Korea to make equal against UAE before first half. We can see UAE players it's going on with a massive defensive line. Not making chance for a Korea team to break through, to gain for a try. Still in 22 meter line, Korea team. Bidding of the 22 meter defense line of UAE team here. We can see here again a good pace from jersey number one, hoping for the try here. Referee not giving the try here. We can see another space created by Team Korea again here in the five meter line. So with this we have come up with the first half. Korea was this close to make equalizer against Team UAE, but 
with their all the power and pace we can see a good defense from team UAE against team Korea to not to let the try and make a winning point uh, still going on for the team UAE that was a very great opportunity to collide Really good. That were a bit of slow. And the passes they have just over that wasn't convincing at all. Now you way the way in a very. Easy. And good first up for the UV. And. Able to make a lead of five points here. End of the first half. So it's going to be interesting in the second half. Dality against. to deal with the way their space, their strength and the, the physicality. Korea just set back in the many times and the most of the times they were behind the 22 meter line. It's going to be a huge second half for the Korea, the Korean team. And the UA will want us to carry this moment, this momentum. It's the second half. Started and kicked off from Korean team. It's a huge second half for them because they are behind in this match. The UV have just managed to find a try in the first half and will want try again into the second half. And it's a tough job for U Korean side to stop UV. And again, this was a miscue, and it's a really good challenge into the center circle line. He has to very good running, and it's again a good. to place okay line with space without and that super as well yeah with this we can see UAE still dominating team Korea
again high kick off by team UAE to maintain the ball position here and good steal by team Korea team Korea still going on on the left hand side A penalty for Team Korea. Nice stepping by jersey number one. Still going for the massive hit again. Still penalty for Team Korea to create a chance to make a point. We have got injury here in the both team for the Team UA and Team Korea. It was a massive collision just before the impact by the number one. So that might lead to the injury here. So the medical team is in the inside. We are checking the player's condition. Willie McAvoy to start again. Or he will rest. We will see that after. But the, even if in the defensive area, he way looks very better. Very cool. Roll. It was going to a very tough second half to the Korean team. And we have seen earlier try into the second half. It's Tuvel Neil, but Tuvel is a huge and massive difference because Korean team need a long way to send this equalizing got so many opportunities and wind organizing into defensive contribution. Medical treatment still going on. With this, with the scoreboard here, we have got UA 12, Korea 0. was a bravery run and he was desperate to get into the line and successfully has that try that will keep Korean team into seven points now 12-7 is the score it's a good challenge 
still they are in front of the halfway line the korean team and it's advantage for ua side it's going to be a card it's first yellow card in this match he has to come outside off the pitch important player once again jersey number 9 min hyo kong he has come off the pitch because he has got a look hard again it's nice hi yep that was a great comeback from ua team also with the try And Itana going for the kick conversion here. And that's a wonderful conversion by a young lad Henry Turner from UAE. What a competitive match. Between the UAE and Korea 118 boys. UAE looks more better, much better for in spite of them. They are trying to. Okay, we can see her break on by and again. Just in number ten, Jae Young Song. Korea coming up again with this great speed here. UA team giving great pressure for the Korean team. Penalty for Team Korea here. Team Korea going straight here. We can see her stop from Team UAE. Advantage is going on for Team UAE. Still going. Henry Turner going straight for the try. And that's a try from one end, coast to coast, for the Team UAE. How fast they are in the transition, we have seen. Turner was a free was unmarked by Korean team and he had just to do that what he's trying to do. The Korean team is so behind by the 19-7 difference he score he's a huge and the Korean team have been putting pressure in the few minutes over the UA team and it's a conversion unsuccessful yeah with this we have come to an end of this fourth match between UAE and Korea with the score difference of 24-7 UAE 24, Korea 7. Both teams competed well, but UAE gained the ground by creating space here.
we have got next lineup here and this will be a first women's game in between thailand under 18 girls versus nepal under 18 girls in the lineup for team nepal we have got bidisa rai jyoti bamjan suza rai srisa lopchan manisha gising Minakshi Adhikari, Puspa Khadka, Arju Serpali Sunwar, Puja Balampaki, Samjauta Tumbapo, Srijana Chantyal, and Susma. In physio for Team Nepal, we have got Lashman Adhikari, Nani Tamang as a team manager, and our team vice captain from Team Women's Team Nepal. Ms. Shizina Rai as a coach for Nepal under 18 girls and for the team Thailand we have got one on Awan Yukmuang Fantira Chaiket Nadia Ya On Butsa Yon Yon, Kanyawi Sundrum, Kanika Aranya Narunirum, Tamakron Nung Gen Mi Pai, Sani Som Chiaping, Sompete Swan as a team manager, Coach Chaiwat Krong Turikok, and for physio for Team Thailand, we have got Punta Sawang Mane. convincing start to the tournament but it's now it's turn to to winning this tournament we have seen a lot of theme we have listened about theme your sharpness your quickness and the Nepal had to deal with now. Deal with that now, and it's again home side. They are getting support, a bit of support. Really, in fact. So, how's the team, Virat? Yep. Same as boys, Nepalese under 18 girls team have been in the close game for more than one month in Hetauda and they have been preparing well let's see and hope for the best for team Nepal and again for the team Thailand as well For those of you who are watching us live in various social media and our YouTube channel, we are having Asia Rugby Under-18 Boys and Girls Sevens Championship 2022 at the Swat Stadium Triple Racer, Kathmandu, Nepal. We have got eight boys team and five girls team with the boys pool two pools for the boys and one pool for the girls and boys going for the round robin league
been playing only rugby sevens before that date. The main tournament of World Rugby Federation is Rugby 15. And then now Nepal is also able to play that Rugby 15. Nepal can become a full member of the World Rugby Federation only after participating in it. It's starting to the second half. Nepal needs more aggressive, needs to be more sharp. They are so behind from the Thailand. Thailand had still 15 points and they will extend the lead into the second half. They want until now they are capable of doing that in a very good manner, in a very good way. So the Birar was me that uh, Nepal team, this young girls team, have been very good practice session into Hedoda in Hedoda. But today's match, Thailand looks better. Yes, sir. There has been is one of the best stadium in Nepal where we can with many games. In the history of Nepal, are witnessing the rugby match here. See another group. team Thailand on the far end. making yeah. 
lisu infringement <laughs> referee Palak Poda give instructions to the player we have got another change in team Thailand the number four Natia Mutmara is in and the number eight Pandao Mebrong is out with this the start of match has begun advantage for team thailand here that was a quick switch pass by team thailand creating space again Try hitting the wonderful try from far left side again. And able to give hundred percent. for team talent when he does Thailand having difficult here at Nepalese defense, but still going on. Okay, we can see missed by Nepalese team here, giving.
So the India is dominating by the 10 nil score. 18. Could only stop them. Ality presence into this match. With the yeah, we can see in India pass. Kick off by Team India here. Team Malaysia going for the attack. <laughs> Another ma great pass from the Team Malaysia and great run here, but you can see a great tackle by Team India. That's the number two. Mama Naik making pivotal point for the team India in each and every situation. <laughs> Scrum for team India here. Sheila Kumari and she got a try. Dharma Sheila Kumari going straight to the Malaysian defense. Improvised
look after in the second half. here another breakthrough from team india with the pass nil now India is leading all the way and extending their leading score so we would expect more from Malaysian side because their boys team has displayed the really great game against team India the first in the first match of this tournament in the boys category but their girls team hadn't dealt really very well with that Indian pace. Again, we have got knock on by Team Malaysia. This might be another chance for Team India as well. again in the attacking formation with a great handling penalty to team Malaysia but not releasing the ball here team Malaysia need to do something to get out of the 22 middle line still dangerous Yeah, 
Yeah, for the rugby sevens, you need to have a good pace, good strength, good endurance capability, as well as good thinking ability. A perfect team match game, and to make a huge difference by winning. We can see another great pass from Team India with a massive try by Parvati Hansa. Great support, great pass and great hit. Point still left for the conversion here. That was a wonderful kick, but it got bumped into the pole. With The remaining is just only the formality. Your coordination is fantastic. It's a right hand side from the great was run, but good defensive work by Malaysian side at this moment. And as we've seen before in the first half, Mirat, India are trying to find a way through the right hand side in the second half as well because they are finding loopholes in the right hand side. Another, another great run. Hit try by Aarti Kumar. Well, we can see the nominating match of India against Malaysia. And that's a wonderful try by Arti Kumari again, making the difference.
of point difference 14 against India with score of 5 and about Nepal Nepal lost the first match against Thailand so now that we have got second match for the both the team team Malaysia and team Nepal to face each other again we have got good home supporters still coming on at the Swiss Stadium to support the respected team It will be a good contest, to be honest, because Nepal lost their first opening match. Meanwhile, Malaysia managed to get a win over India, strong Indian side. Why? It will be a good contest because Nepal had to manage a win from here. They are home side, they have got good support as well. All they are needed a character and that attitude in your performance we'll see how they are presenting themselves as on this match both teams are ready as we can see in the screen it is Asia Rugby under 18 boys 7 championship you are watching live on action sports television and our social accounts as well the both team getting ready to come to the pitch now it's Nepal under 18 versus Malaysia under 18 Nepal needs a win while Malaysia wants extend their winning streak at this venue physically Malaysian under 18 teams really looks so great now it's all over to all up to Nepal how can they manage a win get a win over this strongly physically strong side against Malaysia it will be interesting game the clear equation is clear Nepal needs a win it's Nepal Interesting contest in a rugby rating sevens. We can see here Team Nepal and Team Malaysia fighting each other. 
for this year will be on the 18 seven championship since uh, we have been told and I have been telling that there is eight men's team participating and five women's team participating for this championship and we have got two pool in pool A we have got Thailand, Malaysia, India and Nepal and in pool B we have got Chinese Taipei, UAE, Korea and Bangladesh kick off for team Malaysia a beautiful scene at the Surati Stadium all the support they have got the favorites on to the attack it's kick off Malaysia under 18 versus Nepal under 18 Nepal needs to be reckless on challenge reckless on tackle they have to be more likely a support Malaysian side because Malaysia under 18 have beaten Indian side to so their first opening match and Nepal just lost against a really good side but this contest will be interesting yep we can see here Nepal gaining position by not letting ball to the Thailand Malaysia We can see her knock on by Team Nepal. Scrum for Team Malaysia. And the, the, the great gesture by Asia Rugby. They believe Nepal Rugby Association to hail this tournament successfully. And it's a great opportunity to Nepal to show their sports quality and sports enthusiasm to the world. And it's a historical event. Scrum, tap done. And it's Malaysia, which is looking to uh, get a try. It's a good run. He has to pass earlier. Uh, we can see here, Malaysian team going against the Nepalese defense line creating more space here on the other side and Malaysia team going with a great run here we are looking for the decision here was it a try or not that was a great run by team Malaysia And that's a try by Team Malaysia here. Conversion going on. Conversion unsuccessful by Team Malaysia. against Thailand that must improvise now because we have seen so far that defensively they are very organized and the Malaysian is like to attack would like to attack in the right way in the left way but Nepal didn't lay off them and it's a good start and it's will boost their moral yep quick tap by team Nepal here Going straight for return here by team, and we have got knock on by Nabin. Scrum for team Malaysia. Nepal is doing well in the defensive line for somehow but they need to come up with the attack to make a score difference and go for the win Malaysia 
attacking is also very good here good run by team malaysia here going straight on with a great pass again with a great support here still going on team malaysia going Again, great attack from Team Nepal here. And this is the individual brilliance of Malaysian side. They are taking advantage of because we have seen in their coordination that lightning counter attack formation. Really good. We can consider as a title contender as well to the Malaysian side, along with Chinese Taipei, Korea, Huawei, all the elite nations fighting each other. Up, Team Nepal again making chance here against Team Malaysia. Nabin going for the hit here. Nice tackle by Chandradev. Another breakthrough by Muhammad Herjul Hazri with a try here by Muhammad Jesse number nine against Team Nepal by making point difference against Nepal. We can see here the Nepal has got a good support, but they are lacking good pass to make the try. Malaysian keeping composure and calm throughout the game. Another massive fend off by Malaysian team. Malaysian team with a great pass here, long pass on the far left hand side. Line out for Team Nepal. With this, we have come to the first half of the match. With the point difference between Malaysia 10, Nepal 0. Really great, great game shown by Malaysian team. They are pushing away the physical involvement and the pressing in the counter. That was the strategy. We spread off in the first half. They are in the lead position within 10 nil score line of when to the first half at the Sarathi Stadium.
Team Nepal going for the kickoff here. Nice catch by Team Malaysia. Again, Malaysia coming up, up with the long pass here. Creating chance to the outside. Line out for Team Nepal. Sorry, scrum. Mani Singh Mang, the ball, going for this. Nepal lose the scrum here. Again, by the number eight, we can see a more stepping by Team Malaysia with a great pass and. Mohammed Hafizul still going on. Still chance for Hati Malaysia again going for the another try and we can see try by Malaysian team beating the Nepalese defense. Was an unsuccessful Malaysian team with this still in the winning chart by Malaysian team from the pool A. Malaysia had the first match against India by the point defense of 14-5. We got a knock on by Team Nepal here. For the change, well, a little bit more dress. And by he's in a good way. And again, he's disguising the backline defense and the really good. Yeah. Hazri has a great stepping and has become a pivotal man for the team Malaysia to make the wonderful try here at the Swiss Stadium. A lot of support around him because the Malaysian under 18 boys, the players involving into the attack, defensive zone, that score zone. A lots of area they have covered brilliantly. So Nepal is not able to raise a uh, space to create a chance. That's why they are miles behind by 29 to nil in this match. If this match, the, this score line, and similarly, Nepal will straightly lose back to back the second match. They are in the danger position. Yep, with this, we can see here one minute around time left for the team Nepal to score a consolation try. Nepalese people with. 
on here. Nice tapping by Team Malaysia. Going straight through the Nepalese defense. Again, Malaysian team with the position of the ball, making huge impact to make a try here and going straight to the try zone. Karil Al Ashik, jersey number three, beating three defenders of Nepal and going for the try, making again a point difference for the team. of the match here Team Nepal lost the match against Malaysia but Nepal fought well with the defensive Malaysia hello check
and the kickoff at the Swati Stadium. As we are rugby under 18 sevens, Thailand under 18 versus India under 18. India have lost the first match, opening match versus Malaysia. They need a point, they need a win. If they want to be the alive in contest. Meanwhile, Thailand was looking very sharp, was looking very brilliant into their first match. The contest, it is the Thailand versus India. And good still by Thailand. And kicked away into the half line area and was a good release, but wasn't good catch though. It is the earlier injury concern for India and the Thailand was a huge collision between two battlers. Look at the screen. The support behind the both team. It's huge. Nepal Rugby Association got the chance to organize this historical event under the management of Nepal Rugby Association. This tournament is held in at Dasarathi Stadium and the Asia Rugby is the main body of this organization. Indian paints looking a little bit nervous because they have lost their opening match and they need to win. They aren't in better position at all. That's why the first is we can look is nervous. The medical treatment is over. Now it's going to be start again. And you start from that penalty. And the advantage also. Both teams are still nil nil. With any team can't to come to the off the mark and it will be a scrum. You have seen before the impact of a scrum resulting in the ball being put back in the play more quickly from the scrum. When a player is tackled and a rock is formed, the ball tends to exit the rock more offensively. And this is the diamond dynamism of Thailand under 18 boys. The setback very good in the manners of the flank running, the hooking position, and the back position all around the pitch. They are brilliant so far. It's a good challenge. Into the halfway line, Thailand is trying to get into the line, and it is a chance. It's an opportunity. Collection still isn't alive. The India man is to get stopped there. It's a brilliant work. Also got the advantage. They have to be quick. They have to look after that lightning counter. And it is going to happen now. From left hand side, it was a mispass. And regain the position just in the last thing. Yep, we can see here great attack by team India against team Thailand here. Great run by team India. Jersey number eight, Harish Raj, Harsh Raj with a try here. With this, India got a point with the try here. Five points for Team India.
India just sent to the off the mark. They have five win. They are in the leading position right now. And all they have to do is the extending their lead. No matter what, they need a win. Oh, it's a conversion. Conversion unsuccessful by Team India here. Still, Team India on the lead. Team India for the kickoff here. Okay, we can see her advantage for Team India. Knock on by Team Thailand. That's the number two, Lashim Shisa. Doing the knock on here. And Birat. Yeah. I just want to share some, something. Okay. Even if I am so curious about that. Okay. If I'm not wrong, Rugby 7 tends to play at a faster pace than Rugby 15s. Yeah. Because of the faster nature of the game. Yeah, yeah. Because since we have got the less number of players and we have got the more space, so we have got the less tackle and more stepping and agility for the game, for the Rugby 7s game we can see uh, another great dummy by team india wow that's a nice steal by team thailand going straight for the another try here again steal by team india with the knock on here by team india panawat jirawat snack was there it was a vital pull by jersey number 16 because the player is getting the carrying the ball was so quick and he has to do pull that off and he did we can see a scrum for indian team indian team going for the scrum we can see here the scrum being collapsed again scrum won by india okay, now it's up to you to the back line indian back line they might have been pressurized because they have lead when you have a lead that's extra challenge to save that lead the teams always we have seen a lot of time that losing concentrate on your game as well. Okay, and India here with a great run against Thailand from coast to coast here. That was a wonderful defense by Team Thailand. But India has got a still chance to make a try here. They've got a space. And that's a wonderful try by Virendra Singh Nirwan. Wonderful try by It was his presence of mind that he takes to the that open space and good positioning it was super. And Ten nil now score line. India, we have seen before in the first match they weren't so soft and quick, but in this match their moral, their higher pros, their pace, all factors they have regained. It looks like. With this we have come to the first half of the match. All the ceiling into the rosette, you can see. And the Nepal Rugby Association consider as a milestone to this tournament.
where he's uh, trying to get in, into the line and make a wonderful into the offense. It was a really good contest, a really good first up. It's a not huge score line to which can't you chase because Stendhal is a still uncomfortable lead. I concede to the Indian side. Thailand have to come up, have to step up all their efforts, all their guidance from bench line, guidance from the coach has to pay off now. A great venue into the lap of the Himalaya. This is Dasarathi Stadium and welcome you again in second half of this interesting contest between India versus Thailand. We are having 10 score scoreline in the first half. Kick off for Team Thailand. India with the ball here with a quick pass. Great support by Team India. Penalty for Team Thailand. They're not releasing the ball here. Team Thailand on the attack. Again, Team Thailand going straight inside the 22 meter line. We can see her huge tackle from India defense, not penetrating and giving chance for the Thailand attack. Thailand once more changing course of the direction here from far left hand side to the right hand side. Penalty to India. Thailand just can't exploit the position. Exploit the final and in another way India is so looking so sharp in the counter attack again one more Virendra Singh going for the another try from coast to coast with a great run and great pace he will go for a try and he has done it yeah. with another Beautiful try from the 22 to make a difference for exactly the team. That, exactly that, Vidat, what we are talking about. Because Indian team is looking so soft in the counter attack. They have changed their approach in this match. Comparatively in first match, they were a bit of sloppy. Yeah. Sumit Kumar Roy for the conversion. And the conversion is unsuccessful. Penalties in sevens are generally taken with a quick tap instead of a kick of torch and a line out. And again, this is line out. Torch positioning matter, Birat. Mass matches like this. Yeah. The last person to have the contact with the ball before line out goes to the another team line out for team Thailand here
Free kick for Team India here. They are going for the quick tap at the 15 meter line. India again going for the another breakthrough here. Still going on, Indian team. And the movement. Penalty further, India again. Sumit, again having a great step. He's still going on. That's him. Guru passed that ball to the team. And we can see here. Again, penalty for Team India. Guru with a quick tap. Giving straight to the Mangal Soren and Mangal Soren with a easy try. India again with a point difference. And that momentum, Thailand. Birat. At that moment, that momentum they shifted in to their positions, which was great and promising as well. But at the end, the score will matter at this match. That run, that pace, they have got that momentum, that build up. At last, they are just keeping, just keeping. Yep, Indian team has become one of the influencing team of the tournament. tournament. They have been doing great here. Just keeping pressure and press. Just maintain the high line. That's going to be the strategy. And it will work eventually. Another kick off for Team India. Team India, massive tackle there. Against Team Thailand. Team Thailand. Dummy, good dummy. Quick pass by Team Thailand again here. Huge pressure by Team India, but penalty for Team Thailand. Look at this area. I was talking about. Yep, there's one more chance for Team Thailand here. Going straight to the Indian defense. Making space for the far more side teams. Thanabode going for the run. A good support by Thanabode there. Again, we can see her. Quick tap by Team Thailand going straight in the Indian defense to make the impact here. Nice tapping by Team Thailand. It's a good progress. It's a huge upgrade. That defense line, which is working really so hard, Indian defense line, competitively at the first stop. Indian team with the kick here. The ball is bouncing in the 22 meter line, and there's a quick support. And that was a massive mistake by David Munda. He lost the ball there on the process. But that doesn't make the difference in point. And they're still in the lead. The build up and the momentum was very good. But at the end, he missed that execution. Scrum. Scrum for Team Thailand there. Knock on from the Indian team has led to the scrum. Team Thailand. Maybe they can have one consolation try for the team. They are on the 22, going straight for the tackle. Penalty for Team India here. Team India again going for the another try. They have got more men on the far right hand side. And as usual, we can see another try, another 
quick pass from Team India. Man on the far right inside and the try. Making the try here for the Team India. They have made themselves as a believer while we're talking about their first match. It is so different. It looks so different in, with this, in this match. Yep, sir. With this, we have come to the end of this match. Thailand, 27. India, 0. That was a great game by Team India against Team Thailand. Team Thailand. Was it a joy to watch? Yeah, it was wonderful to watch this match. With this, we have got another match on the line. UAE versus Bangladesh in the men's category under 18 boys. Team UAE has won the previous match against Korea by the point difference of 24-7. And Bangladesh has lost a match against Chinese Taipei by the point difference of 70-0. And the correction, the score was 29 to nil. 29 to Thailand, nil to India. This match has ended. Thailand won by 29 to nil against India. India won by 29 to nil to Thailand. It was a really good game. It was a comeback victory for Team India. Well played. Coming up next, UA versus Bangladesh. The UA team, we consider as a title contender, one of the title con uh, contender to name, but Team Bangladesh couldn't display game in their first match. So we'll look after them as well, how they will come up against UVA. Next match, UAE against Bangladesh at the Swiss Stadium, Nepal here. Yes, we are okay under 18 sevens. The next is UA versus Bangladesh. UA under 18 has just won their first match and they have winning start into this tournament. Just beat Korea, the strongest side. And the victory was convincing 24 to 7. And now it's their turn to beat Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Have lost their first match, opening match against Chinese Taipei was humiliation. 70 against nil. That was the score line. But they have a chance. They have a great chance. Can they find out the formula against UV? The winning formula. They all need just winning formula. In another way, UV are the one of the title contender as well they have been super in all department
they are looking for back to back victory and bangladesh looking for their first it will be a contest between in this competitions one of the favorite uva versus the challenger bangladesh the both team has come off to the peas slow and steady they will get rhythm that will leave still alive the all that question is can they able to win this match will they shock uva the expectations are higher and they just need to meet that reality yep we can see here ua team with lot more confidence in their pool it's a bouncing on first stop then that's a kick off and first it's torn to the attack and gets a point that's a straight on try by team uae that was a good try by team uae with an blink of what a run again <laughs> it is the quickest i yeah. think yeah it is the quickest and fastest tournament try in this asia rugby under 18 boys and girls sevens championship Again, we have got another chance created by UAE Xavier White with a try. That was so easy. Looks so easy. Bangladesh just couldn't stop them. Yep, Bangladesh with the poor line of defence there. You can say that was poor. Honestly speaking, South Asian teams needs to step up, needs to do better, display the performance. This is so believable performance by South Asian teams till now. Conversion access unsuccessful by Team UAE. Still UAE on the lead here. Mudwa Mete Mirwa, maybe the. person for the UAE to have the fastest try in this championship this is number 1 from the UAE mudwa all the south asian teams have raised their heads up this is an opportunity being held in nepal asia rugby under 18 sevens and the grassroots provides you the your future a much better and brighter future given that mind they are more professional they are more comfortable and the confidence they have got into this tournament as a starter as a winning starter you way have the all odds and events to be the favorite of this tournament one of the favorite if i am not wrong and if the not one and once again once again he left defense line mile behind and it's easy and not the and not the point and not the try yep we can see here 
Another try, easy try by Team UAE against Bangladesh, beating their poor line of defense. Bangladesh need to come up with this attacking to make the point difference against US UAE here. Conversion successful. It's looking like they will have a huge first half for Bangladesh. How they manage to escape? How will they? Advantage for your team Bangladesh. Knock on by Mudwa. Scrum for team Bangladesh here. That was huge humiliation against Chinese Taipei from Bangladesh side, wasn't that? And the signs of this match is also looking, is going to be another huge, huge difference. Huge difference score line, huge humiliation. It looks like the Bangladesh have forgotten how to defend the scorer. Another try, this time. Jersey number seven, Max Zelwitz. And it's time to convert the conversion. And it's easy, successful. What a brilliant team this is. Bangladesh just can't give tofts off to UV. Nice tackle by Mudwa there. Again, Bangladesh with the poor pass. Advantage for Bangladesh here. He is exploiting alone Strong himself. for Bangladesh, sorry. <laughs> Mirad, yes, Jos He is okay. exploiting alone himself. Yeah, we can see here. Kabir Hossein in the scrum there from Team Bangladesh. Quick ball by Kabir Hossein there in the scrum. We can see another ball here and pass to Tarek Nash. And that was wonderful pass to Max Wilson and Max Wilson with an easy try there. Henry Turner, the man, the boy of this tournament with a wonderful conversion there. We can call him a man because he is doing a great job for his team by creating chance and creating space for the team Became humiliated. to make a wonderful try there. Became humiliated in first match after losing 70 nil to Chinese Taipei and signs of this match swing pointing to the same score line. Once again, Bangladesh. Now it's time to escape that humiliation. Yep. Conversion was successful from the UA team and the kickoff went wrong from the UA team. Bangladesh with the tap toss there. Poor pass from Team Bangladesh. Again, Will Turner with the Henry Turner with the easy try there. Conversion unsuccessful with this. I think 
We have exceeded the time limit here. For the first half. Players look pretty happy from the UA team. Along with the coach. Why they wouldn't? They have done great job. So, first half score line, 38 to nil. Here we are against Bangladesh. So the second half starting. The first half score will remain 38 to nil with the end of the first half and the second half it's just going to start and it's started. Far kick off by Team Bangladesh here and uh, Team UAE 22. Team UAE going straight here. Tad Nash going straight for the try. And that was super try by Tad Nash. That's in number six from UAE. Making the team proud with another try. They are not getting that comfortable positioning. All they needed to be organized as much as they can because Yuve is exploiting their position. It's a conversion. Conversion successful there. Again, one of the massive kickoff and one of the Good try by Hendrix Duplessis. Team UAE are coming up there with the set pieces against Bangladesh. Beating up Bangladesh with a massive point defense. Hendrix Duplessis with a great run and a great try. It's like one way tracker bullet train is running. Yep, we can say that with a great speed. Just like a bullet train. He went for the straight try. Max Wilson's conversion is unsuccessful there. But no worries, UAE are still in the lead. Far distance to this conver conversion. 
Again, Team UAE going for the, another try here to beat up the Bangladesh. No excitement uh, at all from the Bangladesh side. Yep, we can see that Bangladesh are having difficult finding to make the tackle against UAE. They are still finding to match up with the speed of UAE. They need a lot to catch up with the speed and pace of UAE to hold their position. Conversion was not successful, but never mind. UA will handle this. UA will take this opportunity. Long ball. You are searching to the flank. Knock on by team UAE. Scrum for team Bangladesh. Team Bangladesh need to come up with speed to catch up with the UAE to make and create a point here. Quick tap in by Team UAE. Again, we have got another try by Max Chuelwich. By defeating Bangladesh defense and going straight to the try. It's been difficult for Bangladesh team to hold on against Team UAE. And it's 62. Still? They have that was straight on for our pass and giving straight to the UAE team. Advantage for the UAE team and Hendricks Duplessis again with another try. Taking on the advantage there. Missed forward passes from Team Bangladesh led to the another try. Conversion successful this time by Max Wilson. Again, kick off by team UAE with the position in the ball. And they are going straight for the try in this championship. They are making the reign of try here against Bangladesh. Bangladesh are helpless in this place now. They are not going for the tackle either. Conversion successful from that long distance there. game was huge dominant from UAE against Bangladesh. Bangladesh one more chance for them. Going for the good attack here now. Quick pass there but that pass 
isn't well enough against UAE. Max Jolzwich going for the try here behind the pole. We can see here. That was a poor, poor conversion from UAE. Nonetheless, Team UAE won the match against Bangladesh in the pool. Well, we can see her UAE won the match against Bangladesh with a massive point difference of 81 0. Final score UA 81, Bangladesh 0. Now we have got another match coming up between Chinese Taipei versus Korea. The match worthy to watch. Uh, absolutely. Chinese Taipei and Korea. They are looking very good. Side. And still, Bangladesh couldn't find off the mark a point or try. They are still in nil in this tournament so far, including both of match. They haven't found any point. They have lost Chinese Taipei against Chinese Taipei to 70 nil, and just to 81 to nil, Bangladesh. Yeah, we can see the lineup there going on from Team Korea and Team Chinese Taipei. Under 18 boys. Chinese Taipei won 70 against Bangladesh in their first match. As well as Korea didn't won the match against UAE in the first. Let's hope Korea make a huge difference this time by winning up the second match. We have got Korean team here inside the pitch. Chinese Taipei versus South Korea at the Swiss Stadium, Kathmandu, Nepal. It's nearly 1 p.m. Nepalese standard time here, 10 minutes left. Okay, kickoff goes to the Chinese Taipei here. Kickoff for Chinese Taipei. Going on the left hand side. Korean team with the ball here. Good defense by Chinese Taipei. And again, it's a passing way through into the left hand side. He has got passes back and the look at his pace. He's alone and he is free. He's unmarked and he's going to deliver a first try to Korean side. Yep, Dong Ho-yo. We, we can see here, great try by jersey number seven, Dong Ho-o. Going straight from the left hand side to make the team lead. Sign this Taipei. I've done a better so far, and the conversion is successful from the Korean 
team. It's a good start. Which they were looking for. South Korea have got against Chinese Taipei. Supporters are happy. They are enjoying. He's trying to steal this ball and successfully it's done. Defensively, Chinese Taipei had to deal with Korean Pesh. Looking for fast advantage to Korean team, Min Hyo Kong into the ball. Swiss into the right side. And again. Just in front of halfway line. Korea and Chinese Taipei will battle against each other into the scrum. Scrum position. Scrum to Chinese Taipei. Resist the position and it's still good still. He has to make it through by the line. By the meantime, into the left hand side, Korean back line organized so well and did well. Still, chance have arrived. And this time it will be a try for Chinese Taipei. Water run. Water try from the young man, Yu Cha Yu Hong. Gets the equalizer and still he has to convert a conversion. Look at his run. Escape from the back line and win it straightly. And again, conversion is also successful. It's equal now. Chinese Taipei 7, South Korea 7. We knew before this is going to be an interesting and vital competitive match between these two teams. Chinese Tape have won their opener 70 to nil against Bangladesh. It's a good defending, but it's still in the position. Korea will be happy. Chinese Tape. Will be happy if the pace of the game is so uprising. The difference is most notable on the game restarts. It's also a scrum to Chinese Taipei. It's a good spot and good escaping run. He looks backward and now he's turned to going forward. But the halfway line is all over the control again by the Chinese team. Chinese Taipei against South Korea. Min Hyong Hong is trying to release the ball. Again, he wants. Get it in the line, into the center. The vital path leads his way towards. You can see from the left hand side, is operating one of the best pressure, Dong Ho Wong. Again, he's looking for a second try by himself alone, and he will get it. Again, a nice try by the Korean under 18 boys team. And it's time to convert the conversion into the ball, into the position. We can see it, Chan Hee Lee. Can you find a gap, but not at this time. The conversion is unsuccessful. Only point gets through, comes through the try.
really competitive match is this Chinese Taipei chasing them South Korea into the lead right now once again left footed please into the right hand side it was a diagonal but wasn't able to collect the the ball it's a line out Good battle, Virat. Yep, we can see here the score. South Korea in the leading point by 12 against Chinese Taipei 7. Line out for Chinese Taipei here. The ball is in the loose. Chinese Taipei gaining the ball here. Good offload there. Nice dummy. Nice tapping there by Chinese Taipei. Going straight for another try. And that's a wonderful try by Chinese Taipei there. Jersey number four, Chang Ming Yang. And before that, that run, Chan Hing Lee. From yeah. the Chan Hing Lee. He was the player to watch. And now it's, it's impact. Yep, we can see that Yu Chiao Hong. Did a great job by creating space with a great run, and that pass was wonderful. Wonderful first half match there by the equal point 12 12 from Team Korea and Chinese Taipei. It will be a wonderful match to see in the second half here. Kick off by Korea team. Chinese Taipei with a great stepping there. Passed on the outside side here. Nice run by the Chinese Taipei. Yu Chia Hong. Giving the pass straight away. On the right hand side, still going on. Chinese Taipei with a good handling there. Penalty to Korea.
Picked up by Korea there. Korean going straight in the middle for the tackle. Korean team going there, but there was no one to take that pass. Still, that looks like, like a forward pass. Scrum to Chinese Taipei. Scrum to Chinese Taipei. They are doing the quick scrum here. Going against Korea. Long pass. Still going on. Chinese Taipei. Great tackle by Korea. Penalty to Korea here. Nice stepping there by Korean team. But still going on, Korean team. How Xiang Wu with the tackle there. It's a good game, good contest by so far. Because yeah. both teams have equalized again and again. We can see here both teams has got good attacking and good defending. The same thing they want to do, the same thing they are capable of. The wild both same level team will competitive compete each other then the match it's the game it's so it watch it's good to watch now it's a pair changing Korea and Chinese Taipei both team have changed their 1-1 one, one player meanwhile it's a scrum They pass through. They'll deliver again from Korean team. Nicely challenged. World time challenge. Nicely drawn, but he couldn't collect the ball. Just watch. A great chance, though. He's disappointed to himself. How Xiang Hu? He has that chance to collect the ball and make a counter attack movement. It's a line out. Yu Xia Hong. Yu Xia Hong to back pass. Again. The flank, the hooker, where in the position? He wants to exploit that mid area, but escaping the line into the right hand side. And he is celebrating himself. What's your feeling for? That was a good run from Team Chinese Taipei and a great tackle from. Korea as well. Referee are confirming whether it was a try or not. So it's not a try from the referee decision there. That was great. Try saving tackle from Team Korea. Wonderful tackle. Late, late tackle from Team Korea. That made a huge impact. Against Chinese Taipei there.
still Korea going on penalty to Korea now this might be a chance for team Korea going on that's the number two well Yoo Hyung Tin sorry Yoo Jin Kim Jae Young Song going straight in the Chinese type of defense there Did he toss the line? Okay, another try there by Team Korea Le with the leading point. And Chinese Taipei did the best to hold the defense line, but it was not successful against attack line of Korea team. So with this, Korea team led against Chinese Taipei by point difference of 17-12, which was a wonderful match here at the Swiss Stadium going on. Nice catch by Chinese Taipei, they have got a chance here. It's really impactful player. Isn't he? Yep. Still continuing going on. Nice offload there by Chinese Taipei. Still going on for Chinese Taipei there. To make an equalizer there. Going on. Chinese Taipei again. With that loose ball, Korea team gained the position along with the advantage there. Korean team. First knock on by Korea, Chinese Taipei. And that doesn't matter. Time's up. What a defending attributes providing by this young Korean under-18 boys team that was really a huge and vital defending tackle. Yep, we can say that Korean team regained their positions after first loss against UAE by getting victory against Chinese Taipei. in the second match. And that was a key moment. This looks like, like a try there from Chinese Taipei, but... From the referee point of view, it's not a try, so... Korea won the match against Chinese Taipei. So we can see here on the replay. The kickoff was good and the support was good from the Korean team. Along with that, We enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, that was a great, great match at the end of this championship. We'll be coming live again at Nepali Standard Time, 2 p.m. Till then, keep tuning us in our social media and various live, along with the live going on in Action Sports Channel. Till then, we'll be having Next match starting from UAE versus Nepal in women's category after opening ceremony of this Asian Rugby Under-18 7 Championship going on at Kathmandu 10 and 11 December. Thank you.
Tim Nepal just have lost their opener against Thailand by 39 to nil score and kick off. Here is a Dasrati Stadium. Tim Nepal keeps holds the position earlier time. Yep, by that we can say that the match has been started here. UAE versus Nepal. Nepal with a good attacking position here. Nepalese are on their 22 meter line, danger line. They need to get out from there in order to gain the position here. Still going on, Nepalese team with a loose pass there. Still, penalty for Team Nepal, not going 10 meter. That's a massive run from Team Nepal, Jyoti Bomjan. Nice tackle by Team UAE. Nice pass from UAE team. Here goes the Emily Eglin for the try. And that's a wonderful try by Emily Eglin from UAE. Conversion by Femke Sons. And the conversion is unsuccessful from Femke. That's in number five. Emily, open UA's account. The conversion was not successful, but that would take in mind. UA is in much better position now. Nepal were struggling against Thailand before and now it seems they're gonna have huge first half against the UA now. Line out for Nepal. Another chance to hold the position. Yep, Nepal doing line out here but stolen by UAE. Again here, attacking the attacking formation, Team UAE. Passing to the ball, Seren Morris. Yep, that's nice stepping by Femke Soens again. So we can hear, see here a good pass from Team UAE. And advantage for Team Nepal here, but knock on by Team UAE. And we'll have a scrum here from Team Nepal. Was a courageous tackle that was from Nepal. That will keep moral high of the team. Scrum. Nepal wants to avoid it as much as they can. The main referee here from India, Palak Poda. Giving instruction in the scrum there. Still going on, UAE. Passing to the ball. Still going on, jersey number 13, Serena Morris. And nice try again from team UAE. Against team Nepal. Yeah, the decision was right. They had to stuff her and they tried very well, but after all, it was her experience which makes it different. Yeah, we can see here again the conversion in unsuccessful. The points has been increasing here. Nice tackle by Team UAE here. Okay, ball stolen again. We can see here good support from their team. Again, we can see here Emily Eglin going straight for the try in the middle. And extra five points for Team UAE. Yeah, 
It's looking Emily Aglin alone versus Team Nepal. Yeah, we can see that here. Now the conversion is successful from the Team UAE. Then it appears injury concern. The first medical treatment is happening inside the pitch. Yeah, we can see here some Nepalese girls getting injured here in the process. And there might be a replacement here. Team Nepal need to do something more up with their attacking strategy here. Jersey number nine, Puja Balampaki is in, in the injury replacement here. Okay, we have got knock on here and advantage to team UAE. UAE passing the ball here, going straight through the tie line. And once again, still advantage for team UAE. And that's another try again from Team UAE with a massive push. Nepalese defense is getting weaker. And getting exposed. Yep, we can say that. Team Nepal need to Manage the defensive line. And the conversion is unsuccessful from Team UA again. This one was from long distance. Okay, again, we can see a kickoff. And again, we can see here knock on, but advantage for. Team UAE. Yep. Plenty of time and constantly they knocked on to UAE. At the same place, we can see that the infringement is going on from Team Nepal. UAE team are looking strong here against Team Nepal. Now the dummy pass is going on and going on straight by Femke Swens. Going straight for the try, and she got her try. What a presence of mind. She went alone and torn inside, caught inside. The two back lines in the middle area. She exploited that area, and conversion is successful. Successful, yeah. Femke Jones gaining seven points for the UAE by doing try and conversion herself. We can see her team Nepal at the best. They need to find a way to beat the UAE with at least more tries they have scored in first half to gain that try at second half. Oh, I wonder, still there smiling. Yeah, mm. you can see really that. Class, class act. We can see that Nepalese team are full of confidence here. Alongside UAE, UAE are doing also great. The formation made by UAE team in the game has made a huge impact against Nepalese girls. So 29 and nil score line is
The two-day championship is organized by SVR Rugby and under the management of Nepal Rugby Association. We'll come back to second half. The contest between UAE versus Nepal. Yeah, we can see a massive hit by UA team against two Nepalese goals and creating a penalty in the process. Quick tap by Vela Baravian. Adina Hunter is going straight there on the tackle. Again, we can see here Kyle Ackerman going straight here. Kyle Ackerman with the full on pace going for the try. And there's a try here. And there might be a chance to get by pulling a hair for Team Nepal. And that's a straight yellow card, maybe. Yeah, she got the yellow card for Team Nepal. She has to leave the piece as well. Yeah. Nepal down to one man. She miscalculated her judgment during the process against Team UAE. And we can see here the conversion is good. We can see here the game between Nepal and UAE. UAE dominating the Nepal. Coach David Holby in the presence of Nepalese team. Vela Baravian going straight here and a good tackle by Team Nepal. Again, we can see here side pass from Team UAE swinging from left to right. Nice tackle to Annabel Garner by Team Nepal. Okay, here we can see a huge round of supporter from Team Nepal. Quick tap by Team Nepal here. Going yeah, on. Much better. Much better performance. They need to show their attitude and then that mentality. We have seen the coach was furious and so happy by the very, very tackle from Nepal, which is needed at this moment. Nepalese team got a yellow card and she's on the sin bin. Quick play by Team UAE. Looking for the space here. Ali Sanson. Giving pass to their own teammates. Good handling there. Serena Morris going straight here and we can see a nice tackle by Team Nepal. Yeah, Nepal is getting better defensively. They have been really superb. In the last man we have got Damon Freeman from South Africa and Surajit goes from Team India as a last man. A poor line out from Team Nepal, stolen by UAE. And we can see her knock on by Team UAE. Scrum to Nepal. They were getting exposed into the first half, but suddenly the strategy paid off into the second half. They were very <coughs> organized. Team Nepal in desperate need to make one try. Forward pass again. Penalty for Team UAE. <coughs> Sorry, scrum.
Okay, nice stepping there by Adina Hunters. Going straight on. And what a wonderful try by Adina Hunters from UAE. That was a wonderful stepping from her. It's all about her individual brilliance. What a moment to share with the team. And again, it's conversion time. Ellie Sanson. Ellie and goes wide. Oh, Tim Nepal, under 18 girls, just lost their opener against Thailand by 15-7. And if this scorecard remains to the end, they'll face straight lose back to back. And it will be difficult for them to arrive in this tournament. So, uh, it was a miscollect, but this certain. Yeah, we have got line. breakthrough here by Team Nepal. And she got tackled by Team UAE. What a nice tackle by Team UAE. A nice run. And uh, that was also a nice run from Team Nepal. One last run, but that didn't have a chance to make a try. Another run by Team UAE, straight run. Okay, advantage for Team Nepal, we can see here. Knock on by Team UAE. Yep, Ben also looks so relaxed. Uve is about to having second win back to back. They have won their first against Korea and remains favorite in this pool. Yeah, we can say that. Scrum to Team UA. Maybe this will be the last scrum for Team both team. As the time is gone, last chance for Team Nepal to open a scoring try here. Team UA with the loose pass here. Serena Morris going for the run. She was tackled by Susma Yonjan. And with this, we've come to the end of a game. UAE versus Nepal and with the massive point difference of 41 nil UAE win the match against Nepal
Coming up here, another match between Team Thailand and Team India. Going in the pitch. Team India on the screen here along with Team Thailand. Team Thailand won against Nepal in the first match this morning. And this is the second game of Team Thailand. Also, India won against Malaysia in the first match with the 58 0. So this is the second match between Team Thailand and Team India. Let's see who will open the count of win in the second match. India with a long pass here and we can see knock on by Team India. This match will be so much technical aspect. Depends upon their moral and their approach because we have seen India is like to uh, uh, attack against their opponent and we have seen Thailand as well they were brilliant against Nepal they were dominating and they were so quick yeah we can see her Thailand attacking firmly to the India and getting penalty again at the danger zone of India quick tap by Team Thailand. They're going for the pass here. India defending here. Thailand going for the try and it's a try from the direct push. That's a wonderful try from Team Thailand dragging two goals straight to the try what a power from that goal and the conversion is successful also by Kochapan does it number nine We can see here kick off by Team Thailand again with the lead of seven against India. Chiawat Kolong Chok, Thailand coach there. Again, we can see another break from Team Thailand going for the straight on try. Making huge difference in point against Team India. Another try within 30 seconds, back to back. Team India, defense has been broken down by Team Thailand to score a try. Yeah, one thing I like very much about Thailand is their persistency that Every time we are seeing their brilliance, their persistency, they always want to keep the position. They always want to keep ball's direction in their way. And that persistency, in the meantime, they were very brilliant and able to hard to beat line. Just they were simply done it better. That hard line, every time they broke us that thinking Indian mindset, Indian players mindset have always risen. And this time... Again another breakthrough by Team India here, going straight 
for the try here. She has got a good pace. Jessie number five, Ora one, going for the tackle here, but she can't get her. That's a wonderful run by Team India for the try. What a great run. Wow. What a great pace yeah. by Team India. That's a great escape. She knows about the players, insist. And conversion. Yeah, conversion successful by Parvati as well. And we can see here catching of points by India against Thailand. We can see here on the replay, good run, good pace, good composition by Team India to score that try all the way from the 22 meter line. Advantage for Team India here. Team India with the stepping. We can see here attack from Team Thailand going on. Nice defense by Team India, but penalty for Thailand. Thailand with a nice stepping there. Still going on, Team Thailand. Nice tackle by Akansha. Okay, nice offload there. Again. We can see here, nice attack from Team Thailand, but that ball was... Wow, what a huge break by Team India. Dharmasila Kumari going straight for the try, and she got her try for Team India. Chance to make equalizer against Thailand, and she has done it. Dharmasila Kumari straight to the middle and making huge impact to her team, giving the lead. We can see here, Channel Krizil did the first try and Dharmasila Kumari following up her with the dummy and going straight to the middle of the Thailand defense and going straight for the try. Wonderful try by Dharmasila Kumari. We can see here India defense against Thailand attacking, and we can see a knock on by Team Thailand. With this, we have come to the first half of the match by India, which was 12 0 and gaining a massive point of 14-12 against Thailand and the winning streak in the first half. Let's see what we can get from the both the team in the coming second half.
Thailand versus India. And the later first half, the team India emphasized the rhythm. They insisted that they can break the line, that they can press and penetrate. That strategy worked out finally and India were behind. At the end of first half, they are in front. It's 12-14 now. And we are having the second half here. Yep, we can see her wonderful cast by Team Thailand there from the kickoff. Penalty to Thailand here. Thailand is in desperate need to win this match against India. But we can see how India teams are also strong. Dharmashila passing back to her teammate Parvati. Parvati to Arati. Arati going straight here. Arati Murmu going straight here for the try. And we can see her. Arati Murmu for the try. We have seen a lot of time that Thamkorun Nagoin Fimai has done brilliantly so far, but slowly and steady. She has, looking like she has lost her stamina. Arati Kumari for the try. That was from the left hand side of the pitch. And India were behind. They are in front of now. That come back and latter on first half really boosted India performance. That turnover, they were looking for extend till the end. Scrum to Team India. Scrum for Team India. And it's time to cut inside. But collection wasn't great though. And it's knock on. India is making a change here. And just in number thin, three, a channel crystal. coming in scrum to Thailand Seven point difference between Thailand and India. Thailand has a chance to make equalizer with one try and conversion. There's a break from Team Thailand. Going for the pass here. Again, we can see a great run from Team Thailand. Still running. Nice tackle by Team India against Orawan. Jersey number five. Again, wonderful try by Mama Nayak from India. 
Team Thailand not letting ball against India. Team Thailand against India. That's a good run. We can see here another break from Team Thailand. Pando, jersey number eight, going straight here. And now we have got turn in the pace against Thailand. Great defense by Channel Crisley. Just waiting for her position and going for the tackle. Okay, quick touch by Team India and we can see a great run by Team India and hopes she's going for the try and another wonderful try by Team India from the 22 meter line. Team India on the winning point of 24 and Team Thailand 12. Thailand still has got a time to recover their lead. And the conversion is successful. With this, we can see India with the 26 point and Thailand with the 12 point. Yeah, all stamina factor once again. Because we have seen in the first half that Thailand under 18 girls were putting so much effort on the ball and drawn, making passes, making good passes, making good decisions. But once India take a, took a lead, then everything has changed. Everything has been so disabled. Or Thailand under 18. They were retrieving and resembling ball position. India cut their line, cut their tempo, got their momentum, and they just carried away from this situation. Trying so hard, trying so hard here. Here is an opportunity to break the line, but she couldn't find another carrier. Stepping inside, once again, really wonderful defense by Team India. Channel Crisal. And this is going to be line out. And the end of the match as well. India beat Thailand by 26 20 12. Back to back, second win for the Team India. And in this tournament, the first lose of Thailand. They beat Nepal. They beat Nepal by 39 to nil and lost against India by 12 to 26. Coming up next, we have another match Malaysia. Received by, then we'll move forward to mains category India versus India versus Nepal. This contest. What can we say more? about this contest, India versus Nepal. Is and every sports. It's a rivalry. It's a healthy rivalry between these two nations, India versus Nepal. And they are facing each other in Asia Rugby under 18 sevens at Dasrath Stadium, Nepal. Indian under 18 boys lost their match against Malaysia. That was close victory to Malaysia. 
and then lost against Thailand by nil to 29 India is looking for their first victory and Nepal is also looking for the first victory on their home soil the famous rivalry about to start India versus Nepal Officials are getting ready and they all set to this interesting and vital contest. The class between two nations, the class between two neighbors. Both teams want to take a point, take a first point. In this competition, they were losing so far. And we can see Nepal and their traditional as you it. And uh, another stride. They are ready to face the challenge from Indian side. You can see on the pitch here, team practicing there. For a short while, team Nepal and team India. Yet another game coming soon. Team Nepal versus Team India. We got Bikasar Ki, Mahesh Sunar, 
चंद्रदेव जोशी मनीष सिंहमांग रोहन डंगोल गणेश बानिया नवीन बहादुर मगर विराज रेग्मी संदीप कुमार राय एम चौधरी अभिराय एंड परेश पनेरू फॉर द टीम नेपाल विद द कोच कृष्ण था छेत्री मैनेजर मधु आले एंड फिजियो लक्ष्मण अधिकारी दिय For the team India, we have got Sumit Kumar Roy, Virendra Singh Nivon, Sabrav Kumar, Mangal Soren, Ganesh Dangara Maji, Ashok Hasad, Deshraj Singh, Harshraj, M D Arman Alam, David Munda, Lachim Sisa, Guru Mandra, and Raju Kumar. In the manager of Team India, we have got Manas Kumar Jena, and the coach we have got Eleona Naikuluan Vianua Kuna Tuba, and physio for Indian team is Abdul Wahid Khan Patana Khan. Both team having a good warm up session before the match.
and here it is the rivalry of our day the famous rivalry between two neighbors india versus nepal what can we say more about this contest yeah we can see here team india and team nepal team india in blue and team nepal in red jersey Team Nepal is looking for their first victory and similarly Team India also looking for the first victory in this tournament. They haven't been able to win the match so far. The next seven minute is going to excitement and thrill. And kicked off at the Surati Stadium. The first position held by Nepal. Once go back, but couldn't find the mate. From right hand side, India is operating so hardly, so composedly. Nepal defended very well. An early scrum. Paul is trying to avoid from the danger zone. India keep pressing. Yeah, we can see a quick tap by Captain Rondongo going for the kick. Sumit Kumar Roy at the ball. Ashraz with a good stepping here, going straight to the Nepalese defense. Again, Sumit Kumar Roy leading the ball, creating a chance here to Ashraz. And we can see her forward pass. Was really good challenge by Nepal. They need to lift off this momentum till the end. Defensively, they have believed they can stop Team India, and that's going to be fine. Team India, the expectations towards this team is higher and higher. But tournament so far is in favor of them. Another scrum. His fan following for the Nepalese team in the stadium here to support their team. Now stepping by Team Nepal, going straight here and losing the ball in the process. Again by Team India. Again, another loose ball. And we have got And again, that was a strong challenge by the Nepali defense line. Scrum to Team India. Ganesh feeding the ball here. They are trying to search into the left hand side. And he's escaping. It was a reckless challenge, which was vital. 
but at the end there is another chance which is created by india and nepal giving their best effort to stop him and here is the breaking point for the hasras who went straight to the try for the team india that's a wonderful try by team india going all the way from the left hand side for the try we can see here that nepal's defense was working really hard but harshwaz as in number 8 went straight on for the try sumit kumar roy for the conversion the police supporter there and i think the conversion is uh, unsuccessful uh, there are nepal did all they can to stop that movement but at the end it's opna it's a breakthrough india 5 nepal nil Okay, another breakthrough here by Jersey number two, and we have got nice tackle by Jersey number six, Ganesh Bania, one of the rising player of Team Nepal, Ganesh Bania, who recently played for the national match from his province, Gandaki, and. made a huge impact in his province as a rising player mr ganesh bania This match is looking interesting here at the Dasarth Stadium. We can see a tough position going on from Team India as well as Team Nepal. Quick tap by again by Team India with a nice tapping here by Mangal Soren. Again team India and that was a wonderful try though getting tackled in the process he stretched his arms for the try for team India and I think we can see here that was not a try penalty for team Nepal Nepal still on the 22 meter line Again quick tap by team Nepal going straight here Yeah Pirat Nepal is taking too long their own half and this is a terrific challenge from which Nepal can take advantage from here between 22 meter line nepal is taking too long and they are all their nerve just can't attain that precisely those forward runs we haven't seen much much more anything else till now and back pass is superb and this is chance this is an opportunity for team nepal to get equalizer yeah well nice dummy pass by team nepal here Nepal on the lead for going in the attacking positions here. We need more support for Team Nepal. And we have got penalty advantage for Team Nepal. 
Ganesh Banya with the tap touch and he's going straight for the try. And we have got another try for Team Nepal by Ganesh Banya. As I said earlier, one of the rising players for Team Nepal. A fantastic effort. What athleticism that he's showing off at this moment. Nepal carries the ball and Nepal gets a try. That's what study is written. Nepal 5, India 5. It's equal now. That persistency works again to Nepal. With this, we have come to the first half, and first half has been interesting here at the Dasat Stadium with the India with one try and no conversion, along with the Nepal with one try and no conversion, sharing equal points 5 5 between them. Both teams are equally competing against each other for the match here. What a match, what a day, and what a contest. The first time score was 5-5 five, five all. And now it's time to take a lead once again. Who is going to be the leader? India or Nepal? Nepal did really well. Birat. Yeah, we can see here Nepal come back in the first half. Let's see. Who will gain the position in the second half? India with a quick touch and we can see here. Nice run by Navin Bahadur Maga, jersey number seven. Ganesh Bania with a nice pass there, creating chance for Biras Regmi. Biras Regmi going straight here for another try. And we can see here another try for Team Nepal. What a moment is this. What a celebration that was by Ganesh. What a player he is. Biras Regmi. Biras Regmi with a try. He got a wonderful pass from Ganesh Bania. It's successful. It's Nepal took a lead now by 12 point. Have you seen that celebration? That means a lot to Nepal team. Yeah, we can see here from the past few two games. Now we are seeing the potential of Nepalese team in their own home ground performing at the best against the best with Team India. Line out for Team India.
Nice tackle there by Team Nepal. And we have got advantage for Team Nepal here. Scrum for Nepal. This might create a chance for both the team. The ball is out and we can see here Rohan Dangol being tackled. India not gaining quick tap by Team Nepal here. Again, we can see here Chandadev going straight on the tackle. Penalty for India. Virendra Singh, quick tap there. Sumit. Again, penalty advantage for Team Ed India. Nice tackle there. Still on advantage for Team India here. Team India with a break too. We can see here. Nice tackle by Team Nepal. Made a clear. What a performance. Offensively, defensively, Nepal is on top notch and now they need to get out from this situation We can see here the chance for Team India has begun. You can hear those noise around at this beautiful venue. They are swearing off, the hooting up, and this. Plays got a huge role into performance. Yeah, we got change in Team Nepal with the entrance of Mahesh Sunar. That's the number two. Scrum for Team India. Team India with a quick pass here, going straight for the try. And it's a try by Team India. That's a wonderful try by Timmy. And with this, India lost the conversion. And the Nepal still has got a chance and is in the leading point against India by 12 10. The ball didn't cross the 10 meter. From Team India at the kickoff. Team Nepal still hungry for a try. Team Nepal going for the attacking. Again, Ganesh Banya with a dummy fake and going for the tackle. Still going on, Team India with a nice offload there. Taking their time, Team India, Dasi number team, M. Chaudhary going from the straight left. And we have got a nice tackle by Virendra Singh Nirwan. 
Sorry, Mahesunar. And we have got another run and nice tackle by Team India here. And the ball has been snatched by Team India. Team India is still going on. Sumit Kumar Roy with a great run. And will come from the previous penalty there for Team India. Team India still going on. Sumit Kumar Roy and he lost the ball on the process. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. And this might be the ending point for Team Nepal. And oh. with this, Team Nepal won against India with a point difference of 12-10. And you can see the celebration there carrying their national flag. And not just only on the piece, outside of the piece as well, the celebration is going on. And yeah. why not? This should be. Yeah, we can see here Team India and Team Nepal both went for the best and give their best. But the end result, Team Nepal won the match against Team India in the under 18 boys category. This famous rivalry comes to an end and it's Nepal on this match against India. Nepal beat India by 12-10. What a match we have witnessed. Will be written in the golden letter of Nepali sports history. Nepal beat India in Asia. Rugby under 18 Sevens Championship 2022. Yep. With that, we can see here at the Dasrath Stadium with all their home fans celebrating the victory of Nepalese team against India. Congratulations, Team Nepal. With this, we have got another match between Team Thailand versus Team Malaysia in the men's category. Under 18 boys, Team Thailand versus Team Malaysia.
And now we have got here another match between Thailand and Malaysia. Team Thailand have won their first match against Nepal and Malaysia. Also have won against India. Both the team wants to extend their winning streak in this match. In Team Blue, we have got Malaysia and in Team Yellow, we have got Thailand. Quick tap by team Malaysia here. It's a really good run and just he has good physicality. That what he takes to advantage of and this is the first try of the game. Malaysia upon their account by the good try. They keep their best position and got their first try. So now they are in to the attack once again. The Swiss again into the left hand side, but collection was a great and superb job by Thailand. Thailand needs to more aggressive, needs to be more aggressive, and let's make a forward run. Those runs which can't be defeated which can't be stopped from middle of the park he is searching for his luck again keep in position Thailand have a chance to break the line but nothing left out from there because defended very well by Malaysia yep quick tap by Thailand here Diprom Muskimas Again, Thailand with attacking. Nice defense by Team Malaysia, but got the penalty by Thailand here. And Thailand is choosing line out. And the Thailand bench is to come and relax till now. It's a line out for Thailand. That was a long line out by Team Thailand. Maybe they have got some strategy there, but the ball went straight to the Malaysian team. And here's a nice tapping and quick run by Team Malaysia. Mohammad Ismail Skanda, that's in number five, doing the try here. Mohammad. It's my skander. It's a second try for Malaysia. Now it's time to convert a conversion. First was a failure. And they still has second. And once again, the conversion unsuccessful by Muhammad Hafizul Faiz Mot Lutfi, jersey number eight. And with this, Malaysia with the 10 points, Thailand with zero points.
Again, another wonderful kickoff by Team Malaysia here. Okay. Penalty for Team Thailand at the center of 22. Middle line. Team Thailand going for the attacking here and they lose the ball in the process, gaining the advantage there. It's a chance. He escaped and made a try. Another wonderful try by Muhammad Izam Ali Abrani, Jasin Amal Ilavin from Team Malaysia. Team Malaysia are doing great with their combination here. Few minutes left to complete the first half here, and we have got three tries so far by Team Malaysia. Of sloppy, sloppy transition that was, but Thailand is looking for the first try. But collection wasn't good though. Still here with the ball, Team Thailand losing the ball in the process here. And with this, we have come to the first half with the point difference of 17 0 by Malaysia against Thailand at the Swiss Stadium. Kathmandu. We can see here our physio discussing here.
first half ended by 17 nil still in the lead malaysia by the 17 points they have and now thailand have to try their best and kept their so stefan heads up because nothing they can afford against malaysia because whether they attack or whether they defend malaysia is everywhere to chase them to hurt them and beat them welcome to second half this is as we are rugby on the rating seven championship boys and girls and the mass the contest between thailand and malaysia is happening right now it is the second half the second half is going bit high tempo is set it for the both teams yeah we can see a good handling by team malaysia and that's a nice pass to julfran mod dutfi with the ball there and we can see her team malaysia and team thailand fighting each other with a point difference of 17 at the swit stadium again line out for team thailand team thailand has getting more and more chance there but they are not able to score the try in this match again we can see here ball thrown over by team malaysia team malaysia with a good stepping here and quick support we can see here good ball handling and nice pass from team malaysia and again good hand off by julfran adli ahmed thailand was trying to do the quick line out here but the way malaysian team present there during line out that looks like a penalty for team thailand scrum for team thailand sorry malaysia as the line out was mistaken by team thailand thailand is flooring themselves point the ball is grounded over into the open end score line in the goal area they can find a way through this area no much not much pressing high pressing penetration that all is lacking off by thailand again with the pass from right to left for team malaysia gaining the position and gaining the ground doing the deep pass here team malaysia enjoying the game against thailand defense here team malaysia on the run with the ball on the one hand and with a nice offload there 
Again in the same direction. Muhammad Hafizul Fazmud Lutfi going in that direction. They are trying to get at least a try, which they are struggling of. Thailand taking the line out here. Thailand still got a time to make. We can see so here some celebration and dancing going on. <laughs> this is beautiful. Everybody are enjoying here at the Sat Stadium from players, coach, referee, and, and even our viewers coming here to watch the game from various parts of Nepal as well as from foreign country and also watching game us live at our YouTube channel Facebook and our TV channel Action Sports Still got here. Line out, sorry, scrum for Team Thailand. Team Thailand with the deep pass here. Nice tapping there. Good handoff. Again here, nice offload by Team Thailand. Good stepping by Mohadrasti, that's the number 12. Again taken by Majafa. Here's on the run, that's the number 4, Mohd Khalid. Going straight there. Penalty for team Thailand. Going for the quick tap and there's the try, maybe from team Thailand but he slipped away there on the process and get, lose his chance of scoring one more try nice defending by team thailand here yeah, besides up so much handing helping hands over there but they defended very well they kept silent yep we can see here Th thailand chooses the line out in the last minute With this, we've come to the another match coming up next between Korea versus Bangladesh in the men's category. Line out for Team Thailand. That looks straight and it will be a scrum to team malaysia with this we have come to this end time this might be the last chance for team thailand to get their opening points against team malaysia Malaysia won against India in the first match in the men's category and again Malaysia won against Nepal in men's category with the second game and this is the third game of the day and they might win this game too since we are at the stoppage of the time and with this by saying that we are at the end of the match and Malaysia winning all three games against Thailand, India and Nepal and getting at the top of the pool, Pool A. Congratulations to the team Malaysia getting at the top of the pool.
at the great mentality displayed by the team. And Thailand, just we're looking better side against Nepal. But this time, they'll come down by 17 and nil. The full time score. Malaysia 17, Thailand nil.
South Korea. Have lost one match against UV and one against Chinese Taipei. By the close margin, that was 17 against 12. And the third match is going to play against Bangladesh. Bangladesh, who have lost previous two matches back to back. Hello and welcome, everybody. We are live from Dasarathi Stadium, Kathmandu, ASVR Rugby Under-18 7, 7 Championship 2022. You're watching Action Sports SD1 and Facebook and YouTube of ACR Rugby. The both of the teams have arrived on the pitch, South Korea versus Bangladesh. That loss against UV cost use use against Korea because they were putting pressure for the police top top of Malaysia. They had chance, but UV outplayed them. In other end, Bangladesh. Looking for the uh, first victory. Kick off to Korea, South Korea. And with the long kick off there. South Korea taking the ball here and going straight for the try. And that was wonderful kickoff and wonderful try. Bangladesh team tried their best to defend it, but Korea took the chance and created a try. And the run from the Korean team was also good. It seems other team have a competition against Bangladesh to who will get the first fastest try, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Quickest one. Quickest try. And once again, here we go. From the halfway line, Bangladesh managed this time. We can see a slight glitch here in the scoreboard. Maybe our technical team will clear it out. There's a quick pass from South Korea on the far left corner and there's no one defending at the center from Bangladesh. And with this we have got another try. Korean team getting the second try and also the first conversion. With this getting total points of 12. Chinese Taipei scored 70 against Bangladesh and UAE 81. And now it's time for Korea. How much will they get it? Fantastic stall from the Again, Bangladesh. We have got here Chan Healy giving nice pass to the team on the far left corner by Min Hyuk Hong. And we have got speed run again. 
There's a nice stepping going on in the in goal area by Korean team. Si Bin Lee, does he number 11? Swing is stepping inside the in goal area. Conversion by Min Hyuk Hong. And we have got another successful conversion by Team Korea. Team Bangladesh catching up with the Team South Korea, but with the poor line of defense, South Korea are beating Bangladesh from the same point. We've got another offload by Korean teams. Bangladesh team doing their best to defend at the 22. And we have got another try by Chan Hee Lee, jersey number five for the team South Korea. And the conversion is successful for Team Korea as well. With this, Korea team is on a winning streak against Team Bangladesh. <coughs> team Bangladesh, though they are fighting very hard, but they cannot, and they aren't coming from the 22 meter. Outside the 22 meter line. Another kick by Korean team. We can see here Bangladesh team struggling to get the ball and losing the ball in the process. Again here, Team Korea going for the try and we can witness here another try by Team Korea beating two defender along the process. Well, witnessing nothing but uh, domination from Korean side. Unsuccessful conversion. Bangladesh team might have a chance at this point here. Going for the quick pass to Tashfin Hossein. Trita Nag passing the ball to Karul Hassan. We can see a good mall going on here. Still going on from the team Bangladesh. And we can see. Ball taken by Korean team Jin Xiong Park, that's the number four for the try. Korean team leading massively in the first half, along with the successful conversion here.
Corinthian Jinshiam Park. And that was final try for the first half. And conversion following. First half score South Korea 38, Bangladesh nil. Another kickoff started by Bangladesh against South Korea. We can see here South Korea passing the ball, going straight here. Hyun Jin Kim, no one to stop him. And the try is awarded for the Korean team. Hyun Jin Kim for the try. And the conversion successful by Min Hyok Hong. Just in number nine. Another try for Team Korea. Team Bangladesh having poor decision in making contact here, letting loose to Korean team to go pass through the defense line to make a try. Okay, ball to Kobir Hossein Maruf. Okay, he's not taking the ball and with his mistakes, Korea got a chance for the try. Korea team, there's a reigning try from Korean team against Bangladesh. Again from the same point and now this time the ball is out for Team Korea, line out for Team Bangladesh.
still three and a half minutes still remaining here. But the Bangladesh wants as soon as possible this match will be end because they are not able to get any fight against South Korea. They have not much to offer on this match offensively, defensively. They are very tired. South Korea just extending their lead as soon as deep they want. And they just want to keep this rhythm to the till the end. Scrum. Once again, from left hand, left hand side, it's Jersey Noble 12. From South Korea, Hyun Jin Kim. Successfully done and conversion as well. It was a nice try and nice conversion from Korea. They are really dominating in this match. They haven't left any clue to Bangladesh to resist their rhythm, resist their chance, and this gonna be this might have been different if he would take that chance finally, but couldn't more to this advantage for Bangladesh. At least they want to get one try. Struggle for Bangladesh. Another another chance and Korea scores again. Another try and successful. This is going to be an, a dominating victory against Bangladesh for South, uh, South Korea. They have lost against Chinese Taipei, but dominating victory in the first match against UAE. I think UAE beat uh, Korea in the first match. In the second match, Korea defeated Chinese Taipei. That was a close victory. And Bangladesh, one of the weakest team of this tournament, looking after the results because they have lost 81 nil against UAE. And 73 already in this match by oh. the 19 seconds left. A yeah, one-sided victory, but Bangladesh is trying their best. Couldn't manage on this scrum and was going, but referee interrupted. And injury concern for Bangladesh. Medical team has been called up to the field. My um, Ahmed is in trouble and they'll take some time. Medical team is there. But there is no. Any competition for South Africa by Bangladesh? They have been well-built team. Also looking uh, at their physical physical appearance of South Korea, and they got they got so much experience as well. At this young age, this team can handle many or more pressure. The next match is going to happening. Chinese Taipei take on UAE coming up next. That's going to be interesting because UAE wants and looks top of the pool A. The Malaysia is right now still in that position. I think UAE and Chinese Taipei match will be 
the crucial one the crucial one when will be the interesting one to watch because chinese taipei is one of the best team who's playing this tournament and uae who beat korea in their first match 24/7 are oh, uae been so far so best in this tournament there is no other team that can afford to them a little bit trouble a little bit competition and the challenge you were reckless at this moment they have been super form my ahmed is injured and they're taking some time because yeah, i think he's in serious trouble him medical team is in there and checking update and i think we'll he, he will be taken out because the medical team <coughs> has done enough and he's taken out yeah and big blow for bangladesh because they have already lose they are important player before that will not affect bangladesh because they have already almost almost out of this tournament out of this tournament and this match 73 and nil they have still not managed to score a try they tried their best that you have to move more aggressive you have to be the sharp and you have to be quick in this format of game the rugby is a physical game not just only physical in aspect of mentally that you have been on in your best the match is about to begin again mahi ahmed has been taken out just remaining for the formality on this match it's about to restart again it it will be interesting how bangladesh will now react in the last few minutes and this might be the last chance to try again a score for south korea and this is this is like to be okay that's okay <laughs> that was that was so easy easy chance jai won Con game converted and that that's all that's all the game is finished south korea won this match by 78 to nil over bangladesh brilliant victory it's extended 80 now kick walk for south korea the second i think there is second victory in this tournament they've lost their first match against uae 20 by 24/7 and then won their second match against chinese taipei and This is their second victory in the third match today. South Korea is in the pool B of this tournament. Chinese Taipei, UAE, Korea and Bangladesh. Bangladesh looks does not look so strong in this tournament. They have not score they have not created chance still. And Chinese Taipei, UAE and Korea they have been brilliant till now and the competition is between them as well to be the top or full a the two top team will qualify into same you can say that if we if we look, look at the pool a and pool b pool a looks easier than i think uh, competitively pool b team of pool b are more stronger expect ex except bangladesh chinese taipei ua and korea they are playing really good 
rugby. If you look at Pool Bay, Nepal, win over India. But Malaysia and Thailand also does not look stronger. So Pool B is looks more stronger teams, fills with the stronger team. So another one, and his Taipei versus UAE coming up next. That will be the game to watch. Chinese Taipei versus UAE. Both of the stronger team. UAE is one of the most strongest team and Chinese Taipei wants to win. The giant of this tournament so far, UA, taking on Chinese Taipei. It is really going to be a huge class between these two nations. One of the finest teams of this tournament is Chinese Taipei versus UA has been started. And it's time to lead the race for Chinese Taipei. Done really very good, done really very good job. That was already a chance created by jersey number five. Chinese Taipei's player, Yu Jia Hong. He's been fantastic. He's been so, so much confident in this tournament and the level of these two teams. Put this tournament one step up, next level. It's a scrum. Most vital match in this pool. They should retake this is scrum. Hanvira, the pool, which is looking so competitive, which is looking so close, and this match. Yeah, we can see here again. Chance created by Henry Turner. Has leaded to the quick run for Tadig Nash. Going for the try. And that's a wonderful try by Team UAE. <coughs> Henry Turner. With his great pass. How do we stop this team? To Tad Nash. Great Any answer? <laughs> yeah. The only way to stop the team is to not to giving them ball. And that formula should be applied by Chinese Taipei by gaining the position all the time, by not giving the ball position to the team UAE. Team UAE won against Korea in the first match and against Bangladesh in the second. And also now Team UAE fighting for the topping the pool in Pool B against Chinese Taipei. Again, Team UAE in the attacking formation here. Xavier White passing to the Max Allen Paver. Going straight. Penalty to Javier. Offside. Two kids enjoying the match here at the Stadium. Max Wilson. Pass to the Javier White. And Javier with the try here. 
Look at those Indian runs. They can flare, flow into the base. And the rhythm. Javier White with the second try. And a successful conversion by Maxwell Sindhya. If you are chasing from behind, that difficulties. Misjudgment from Chinese Taipei team there, which lead in the position of the ball to the UA team. Again, we can see here Henry Turner stepping and going forward for the tackle. Tad Nash. Look at the confidence. The UA. Pass yes. to the Xavier White again. For the Max Allen Paver to the Hendrik Duplessis. Again, Hendrik Duplessis with a great run. And for the try for the team UAE. Hendrik Duplessis, that's in number nine for the try. We have got unsuccessful conversion here. <laughs> that you all could do. We have got combination duo number five and number six. Henry Turner and Tagnas there. Close by for the UAE team. Going for the left here now at the kickoff. Still Xavier with the ball. Andy Turner, Andy Turner with a good stepping, still going on with the offload pass to the Hendrik Duplessis. And we can see here another loose pass and the ball is out. Once again, we have got huge break from the team UAE with the miss pass there. No worries, still in the hand of the UAE. They're going for the ball. Scrum to the team UAE. And it's not easy to get that ball. They are getting disposed by earlier time from the UA perception of their physicality, their stamina, and their runs. Intelligent playing style from UA side. And surely this will make them to one of the favorite of this under 18 championships title winner. Yeah. Ball in the hands of Chinese Taipei. They are looking for the chance here. Still going on with the ball here. Nice offload by there. Chinese Taipei going with a good handoff. That's a good one. Penalty for Chinese Taipei. Quick tap by Chinese Taipei here, boys. Going straight on here, 
with a great power need support there and the support has arrived again and that's a wonderful try by Chinese Taipei that was a breakthrough try by Chinese Taipei there This is not comfortable lead. They still have the chance. Only they need to be more aggressive. The more energy. Hopefully they will come with that in the second half. The first arm, first half is done and dusted by Yue Wei with the lead of the 17 against 5 Chinese Taipei. We'll be back in second half. Okay, another kickoff by team Chinese Taipei here on the giving pressure on the 22 meter line against UAE. Team UAE with the quick tap here. Team UAE with a good run. They were so desperate. Yeah. And they are. Why wouldn't they? They are in the over the top performance by UA. And what's likely? They are looking for full top position. That's why it is the vital match between these two. The two finest team. Still going on, Team UAE at the attacking formation here at the Sud Stadium. Now we have got a massive power from number one, Dusty, passing to the Hendrik Duplessis. And we have got wonderful try by our man Hendrik Duplessis in the far left corner, going for the straight try. Mudwa, the man who created the chance by taking on the defense just before that. And what a time to take the lead again to extend their lead. Conversion going on here. And the conversion. <laughs> I 
Andy Turner with the kick off here. Yeah. Still UA in the lead. And they are expecting to have the pool winner from the side. Penalty to team UAE. Mudwa with the tap touch. Again. Pass. Oh, that was a nice pass by Henry Turner to Charlie Pollard. But he went out. Penalty for Team UAE. Chance for Team UAE there. So this type have come with more solidity into second half as a comparatively first half. Going straight there in the middle. Nice stepping there by Henry. Passing to it. Henry, the man, giving the chance and creating the chance to his teammate by his wonderful pass. Once again, UA with the leading try. This looks good for the team UAE and the full energy against Chinese Taipei. Looking for his conversion and it's far off beyond the pole. Conversion unsuccessful for team UAE. It was from the distance, a bit of distance, that as you couldn't justify or the mid the, the poles line. It is difficult to take yeah. from that distance. And the wind is getting strong here at the Sud Stadium. With this, we have come to the end of the men's pool tournament after this match, and we'll have be having women's women's match. Coming up next, UAE versus India, under 18 women's match. Coming up next, Chinese Taipei fighting hard to get over the 22 meter line. Penalty to UAE, not releasing the ball. Chinese Taipei there. And the referee has given his decision. Try there for UAE. Time is clicking to Chinese Taipei here. Chinese Taipei has to think more for the team to make even the point, but UAE are not giving the chance to let them pass through their 22 meter line, keeping under pressure there. And the conversion is unsuccessful again. Once again, that was a nice tackle by Mudwa. Chinese Taipei keeping up with the pace. Yeah, USA. They will still on Vitin. They will still remember. 
remains unbeaten in this tournament so far. There is no any team could afford or defeat to them. Nice stepping there by Chinese Taipei team. He's going straight on. Jersey number four, Chang Ming Yang. And he's been tackled there. And with this, we have come to the end of this match. And Chinese Taipei has lost the match against UAE with the point difference of 32 UAE and Chinese Taipei 5. With this, we have completed all the pool matches of Pool A and Pool B of the men's team. And now, coming up next, UAE versus India in the women's team. up next UAE against India with this UAE got the first match by and UAE won the second match against Bangladesh sorry UAE won against Nepal in the women's category Okay, we have got here UAE team on the pitch along with the Indian team on the pitch here. And Team India has won 26 against Thailand. India against UVA. The both of the teams are unbeaten so far in this tournament. It's UVA. We will kick off the ball and kick off. Kick off here, not exceeding 10 meter. And free kick for Team India here. So 
Good Team job. India with a great stepping here and she lose the ball in the process. Was a great chance. She should have executed that. Because UA don't keep those chances it's every time. Really, they don't give you that chances like that. It was a great chance. She should have took care of that run, that execution. Team India going for the scrum here. Passing all the way to the right hand side. Dharmasila going straight for the tackle and not releasing there. Team UA going with the stepping here with the massive power. Taken down by Akansha. Penalty to Team India here. Akansha. Made impact to the team India here by creating chance for the penalty. Nice tackle by team UAE. Ten. Team UAE here trying to create the space against Indian defense team. Team India going for the tackle here. Pushing Team UAE back to their five meter line. Team UAE gaining the position here. Going straight here. Team UAE. Framica Sons being tackled there. India again with the ball on the hand. Mama Naik passing it to the ball to on the right hand side. Nice stepping by Arati Kumari. Still in the position of the India there. Mama Naik again. India going straight. In the tackle there, penalty to UAE, going straight in the tackle there. UAE taking the chance here with the footstep and going on straight. UAE Femke Soins passing it to Emily Eglin. Emily Eglin going straight for the try and that's a wonderful try and wonderful pass by Femke Sons to Emily Eglin. Making the opportunity to make a try there for Team UAE. And the conversion is successful there for Team UAE with this. Team UAE 7. India zero for now. India has got still a lot of time to regain the position. That was a straight run there. Sapna Kumari was there to defend it, but she couldn't find the pace against Emily Eglin there.
Okay, the line out by India has been quick there. And I think referee is not happy with that decision. Scrum to team UAE. Okay, here's another breakthrough by Team UAE going straight here. Once again, we have got Emily Eglin with another try for Team UAE. Making happy to the UAE fans all over the globe. And the conversion is successful as well. India with that massive defense and they create a loophole and make the space for UA team to run through that. India still on the danger zone. Pretty slow kick there by Team India and the penalty to Team UAE there. Team UAE here with a quick tap there by Team UAE being held on in the try zone by Team India. That's a nice try saving tackle by Team India there, but there's more space for Team UAE. Advantage for Team UAE there and penalty. There's no one outside. UA taking the chance and they lose the ball against India. India on the quick tap there, kicking the ball outside the danger zone. Going straight there for tackle, Team India. Arti Kumari. Again, the danger woman here going straight there. Emily Eglin going straight for the try. And with that, we can see her, Emily, for the try. making UAE lead, leading once again before the first half. <laughs> Team UAE has been playing consistently throughout the tournament here. And conversion unsuccessful. With this, we have come to the first half of the match. Still time and points left for India to make it equal or to make win for the country. India need to come up with something to beat the team UAE here. But UAE, UAE uh, is also not backing up here. They're giving the best with the tackle and with the pass.
huge second half is coming up. And kicked off to the second half. India are chasing behind UA by 19 to nil. Yeah, we can see that Team UA dominating Team India again in second half with a great pass there. India also trying their best. Nice tackle. Penalty to India. This might be the chance for India here. Arti Kumari going for the tap touch quickly. Again, penalty for Team India. They are creating chances here. This is taking two defenders there. Nice pass by Team India. And that's a loose pass from Team India. Still on the position of Team India. They can create more chances here. And the masses they have got from the coach. Team India on the run, and we can see here wonderful run and wonderful try by Team India. And that's a wonderful try. We were not expecting that run from Team India. But Team India did the best. And exactly that's why I'm talking about that they have got masses from pains from the coach. They need to, need to be more sharp, need to be more energetic, and the persistency they are showing in second half, it's miraculous. Team India for the conversion. And the conversion is successful as well. There's still a chance for Team India to come up in the scoreboard against UAE. And there's a knock-on there by Team UAE. Team India doing the best in the second half. Scrum to Team India. You have to acknowledge your strength. Yeah. That's why Team India, technically, they are able to beat any team in the world, but the mentally, they fought very well into the second half, compatibly in the first half. Still, there's a loose ball from Team India there, and probably the knock on by Team UAE. And we can see her scrum for the Team India. There might be some changes for the team. Now Team India with a quick ball and and that ball was very loose. Need support for Team India. Support is arriving. Ball is still on side. India with a quick pass and go. Still running India, going for the try. With a massive run here by Tarulata Naik. And she has done the try. What a pace by Tarulata. Going straight for the try from outside to inside. Making the chance even for Team India. That Team India fans enjoying all over the globe for this try. Still a good conversion there and the conversion is still good. India coming forth in the scoreboard. We still have got a time for India as well as for the UAE also. Tarulata Naik. Going straight from outside to inside with a great pace in this game. UAE again. Again, we have got here Emily Eglin 
going with a good stepping. Now this is very bad for Team India since he got a good try against India and making again the point difference for UA in the leading score. M. Leglin. Such an impactful player, Emily. Yep. She did almost all the tries for Team UAE with a great pace and great stepping. And that's not a conversion. Conversion is unsuccessful. Still had good time. Both team has got the potential to win. Okay, kick off by Team UAE there. Line out for Team India. Now we have got a look out for Team India for infringement. That's the bad news for Team India. UAE going for the another try there with a good stepping again passing it to Kerlaker man. Kayla went inside there. Edina Hunters pass it to the teammate on the right. Still chance for UAE going straight there. India giving good competition to the team UAE with a good defense. Still UAE going for there and nice tackle by Team India there. We have got offload here from Team Indi UAE. UAE going straight in the middle and we have got a Good try by Adina Hunters, creating a massive lead again for the team India. Team India did the best, but team UA did even better than team India with their teamwork, beating the defensive line of team India and the conversion is successful as well. With this, we have come to the end of this match with the UAE 31 and India 14 in the scoreboard.
Okay, the next match is between Thailand and Malaysia here. We have got both teams on the ground. With this, we have got another match. Nepal got the bye, so we'll be not playing that match. So this might be the last match of the day. Thailand versus Malaysia. Malaysia with the kick off here. Good mall and good tackle by there from Malaysia team. Thailand going for the long pass here. Still in the position of Thailand there. Good hand off there. Thailand again going from changing directions from one point to another. Creating space there, Team Thailand again going there. Forward pass. So scrum for Team Malaysia. Thailand have won their first match against Nepal by 39 to nil, and the Malaysia have lost their first match against India by 58 versus nil. That was the score line. And the Malaysia is looking for the first victory. Meanwhile, Thailand wants to double their victory over Malaysia this time. Yeah, we can see her quick tap in by Malaysia going straight on there for the team. Malaysia going on there, Valeria Juan. Pass to the Anneli Loikui. Again there. Malaysia with the offload there. Good pass to Sam Subhari. And here's another run by Team Malaysia. And it's a try by Valeria Juan. In the far left corner. She was fighting still on the in goal area. In the center area, defensively they were very better. Able to block the line, block the channel, but Malaysia did the best. They win into the flank and they break the line. And she has a plenty time to make that run and make that try as well. And it's a breakthrough. It's a first. And conversion, it's not going with success. Malaysia looks promising and better side because they have that insist they can go into the forward and the forward they are good blocking option they have the compactful the compactness into the back line is strongest it's a solid once again team Thailand with the ball here Gaining the chance and creating the space with this. Team Thailand running with the full speed here. With a try. And that's a try by Team Thailand. Fantira, strike hit. Running 50 meter dash around from the, her center line. Fantira Chaiket, jersey number six for the try, making equal against Malaysia. 
and the conversion is successful as well. Thailand with the lead against Malaysia. And out of nowhere. Malaysia unable to catch her away. In between line, we can see in the replay. She made it wrong so quickly. As you got the clue that the Malaysian defenders were out of position, that she could took her chance by fine margin. Still going on, scrum to Team Thailand there. Almost two minutes remaining in the first half and the so much competitiveness we have seen so far in this match. Thailand 7, Malaysia 5. Only two point difference. Make them aside, the both team. We have got little medical injury here for Team Malaysia. We have got a replacement already in for Team Malaysia here in the scrum. Team Thailand for the scrum here. They're fighting again. The ball is out. Again, with a good stepping by Jersey number six, Thailand, Antira Chaiket. Losing the ball in the process there. And ball kicked out by Team Thailand for the line out given to Malaysia. Yeah, they have built very emergency clearance as well. They are uh, aware to the run of those runs, those in behind runs, which is very clearly insisted by Malaysian team. That's why they aren't take any risk. They don't want anymore. Yeah, that's not the line out. Maybe that's the penalty for team Malaysia there. There was a hold on for Team Malaysia while she was running by Team Thailand. So that might be the infringement there to give the penalty to Team Malaysia. Malaysia still going on and nice tackle by Team Thailand, Nadia Ya. Malaysia going with the good offload pass and quick step there. Still going on. Penalty to Team Malaysia there with the quick tap. And she has been blocked by Thailand team. Again, penalty by team. Malaysia with the quick tap. She's going outside, passing. And we have got huge defense from Malaysian side there. Still waiting for the try. And again, we'll be witnessing scrum there. For Team Malaysia. Yeah, this might be a winning point for Team Malaysia. Team Malaysia is fighting very well. They need a win since there's the point difference of of minimum between Thailand and Malaysia. So this is the last chance for Team Malaysia to win and for Thailand to stop them from giving the point penalty from again penalty for team Malaysia quick tap there still going on with the stepping team Malaysia with the long pass there with the side step still going on nice defense by team Thailand team Thailand dominating the play and they got the penalty there team Thailand this might be a massive chance for Team Malaysia to win, but the ball has been turned over for Thailand. Thailand still going on in the danger zone. They're still hungry for the try, maybe. They're going on. 
from the outside with the run. We have got huge run from the team Malaysia coming on. But Thailand with the more pace and run. She went for the try. And that's a wonderful try from coast to coast by Team Thailand. That's a wonderful try by Team Thailand there. Try is given and we are waiting for the conversion here. Yeah, Malaysia just have lost their concentration because they have got the first breakthrough. They were into the lead, but Thailand, out of nowhere, they came up and took the lead over Malaysia. That run, that pace, and then that build up was superb. It's still seven and five. Only two point different makes apart these two teams. Last match of the day. Thailand versus Malaysia under 18 girls team fighting with each other for the victory. And the first half score was 12 5. Malaysia already got the breakthrough first and then took the lead, but out of nowhere. What a turnover. What a turnaround from Thailand team. That last try was the best at their sons. And they took a lead now by 12 points. And a huge second half is still waiting for Malaysia. Yep, with the first half dominating by team Thailand there. Malaysia need to come up with something, though they are given their 100% in the first half. But the score defines everything there. Malaysia with the line out. That's a good line out there by Team Malaysia. 
Still in the position of the ball. Going all out with the handoff. A nice tackle by Team Thailand. Again, Team Thailand with a quick tap there. And she has been blocked by Team Malaysia. Team Thailand went straight in and did the try by looking at the space there by Fantira Chaikat. A superb. Yeah, she did another try for her team. Going straight. She looked for the ball, she looked for the space, and she went straight in with the try. Once again, Team Malaysia with the good offload there. Malaysia trying their best with the coverage of the ground there. Malaysia, quick pass there. It's difficult for Team Malaysia since Thailand are dominating there and dominate. We still got the chance for Team Thailand. They are continuously playing there. Nice man, Damon Freeman coming there to stop the infringement. Initially, Malaysia were looking so good and Thailand were chasing them. But time has changed now. It is completely high tackle dominated penalty by for Yeah, we saw the high tackle b just before. Uh, from Team Thailand against Team Malaysia and with this team Malaysia going straight in the middle going on there with the switch pass Malaysia lose the ball in the process against Thailand Still going on, Team Thailand. Team Thailand has s more space here. And she had got a still chance and the ball is knocked forward. Scrum to the Team Malaysia. Yeah, we have still time left for Malaysia to recover their scoreboard. And also Thailand dominating to Malaysia by not letting them cross the center line. Again, Malaysia still continues playing the ball. Regain the position as much as they can. They were fast. They are so fast. They're Still, regain. Thailand playing the best at this game. We have got some medical issues here. Team Thailand going on the far right hand side. Still going on, Team Thailand. With the pass. 
little bit backward, but still in the position of the team. Malaysia doing the best defense here, but still not able to get the ball. And again, there's a more space here, and we have another try by Team Thailand. Ar Aranya Naruyanyam from Team Thailand. She's waiting. Yeah, and finally she did the try. And making the gap for Malaysia even more from Thailand. And the conversion is successful as well. We have got a good, good support from the team. Ball boy there from the Himan Tiger Club. They are supporting for this event here. We have got supports from various clubs, various organizations, and and many volunteers are there to make this tournament going good, in good flow. Again, Team Malaysia has got good position with the ball, but that loose ball creates a chance for Team Thailand to snatch the ball. And it's almost time there. It's been a long journey for Team Malaysia in the defensive line. There might be a chance for Team Thailand to score one more try. Let's see. The intentions are good and the speed is great. Still, we can see a good rock here by Team Thailand and good tackle by Team Malaysia as well. Still going on. There's a good stepping and good run from Team Thailand. Team Malaysia are not letting Team Thailand to go pass over that one last try and still outside Team, team Thailand going for the another try and we have got another try by Panti Rajaiket the girl with the hat trick she scored three try With this, Thailand created a huge difference in the scoreboard against Malaysia. And this might be the last conversion of the day and the conversion is unsuccessful. With this, we have come to the end of the match of the entire day Thailand 31 Malaysia 5 and it was a good game good attack by Team Thailand and good defense by Team Malaysia but Team Thailand attack was better than Team Malaysia defense so final score Team Malaysia 5 Team Thailand 31 It's a comeback victory for Thailand. They were behind, they were chasing in the first half, but Malaysia couldn't hold the defense line that Thailand exploited them and took a lead and convincing victory. At the end, Thailand was very better shy than second half. Full time, Asia Rugby under 18 sevens championship girls and boys. This was the last match of the day. Once again,
thanks to everyone who has been watching us live through social media and our sports channel all over the globe for supporting us. We have come to the end of the day one and with this we are heading for the day two. All the matches of the day one has been completed here in the Dasat Stadium and will be soon going live from tomorrow. Stay till then, stay tuned. Bye bye.